special episode, live stream episode for you tonight. We got invited by the owners of Vaselka, which is an amazing Ukrainian restaurant here in the East Village. They're having a special event tonight, um, which is hosted by the Ukrainian Embassy, and it's to raise awareness of traditional Ukrainian food that maybe some people may never have heard of before. So, you know, like most people have heard of pierogies, but we're going to have some food that I guess is more unusual. So we're going to go to Veselka and first we're going to talk a little about the history of this neighborhood because the East Village was like had a huge, come on, let's start walking and we'll talk yeah. while we walk. It had a huge Ukrainian population. Hey, yo. And I, I think at one point there was like 60,000 Ukrainians um, here around the East Village. And then by the 1970s, I think there was around 20,000 Ukrainians living here, centered around East 7th Street. But South hey, is on East 9th Street, right? We're on Dean. 2nd Avenue right now, by the way, guys. The so there's a big Ukrainian church called St. George's Ukrainian Church, and that's on East 7th Street. So hey, that's Carol. why kind of like the Ukrainian community here in the East Village kind of sprung up in the area directly surrounding the church. Hey, Clive. And Veselka is kind of really the last remaining um, home, I guess you could say, old school Ukrainian spot. Jen right? <laughs> it wasn't always a food place, though. It started out as like a candy shop, kind of a um, you know, newspaper store, kind of like Gem Spa was in the East Village. This was like the Ukrainian version of Gem Spa. So here it is. Here's the outside of it. And this building, you might think, it's been here since 1954. So let's kind of show the building from the corner here, James. Like, let's go out yeah. right over here. I think it's a good spot. Yeah, so then we can show the whole building. So we're going to kind of give a whole stretch of the building. Oh, it's who's popping in? Dwayne, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Hold on, we want to make sure we said hello to everyone. Beautiful Dwayne. night. Yes, yes, yeah. it is. Dwayne, we have a St. George's Ukrainian in Edmonton. Hey, oh, that's really cool. Hey, Myrna. So uh, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, so this has been here since 1954, Veselka, but it started out as Caroline more... Caroline checking in. Oh, cool. Hi, Caroline. So it started out as like more of like a newspaper stand and like they sold even like spaldings, you know, for those that are old enough, those little, you know, hand bowls, those little pink yeah, yeah, yeah. spaulding bowls. The little pinkies, and yep. it was founded by Vladimir Darmashel, who was um, an immigrant from the Ukraine. And he started this little place and he was a member of a like a non-profit organization kind of in short it's called it's like the ukrainian boy scouts and they are actually the ones who own this entire building so mr darmichel did when he opened veselka he was like he was a member of the boy scouts and he gave you know i guess yearly uh, donations to them so thankfully they hooked him up with this spot so they don't the owners of Veselka, in, now, in other words, do not own this building. It's now run by the second and third generation owners, Tom Bouchard and Jason Bouchard is the, the grandson. What happened was Vladimir Darmichel, even though he opened this in 1954, he um, died very suddenly in the 1970s. And Tom Bouchard was dating uh, Vladimir's daughter at the time at, and going to Rutgers University. And he was working part time at, at this, you know, little coffee shop, uh, you know, candy store. And then his father in law passed away and he kind of like inherited the business. And he is actually the one that decided to turn it more into a food business because at the time it was more like, like I said, more, um, you know, selling little, little uh, newspapers and uh, some Ukrainian food, but more like the Ukrainian food was kind of like for the owner's friends and cronies, like kind of served in the back. So he fell in love with the Ukrainian food and that's what he decided to do. Oh, so there's Jason Bouchard. So why don't we go say hi? Um, that's a third generation owner. Let's go find out 
Um, okay. Is it still a little early? Oh, let's we're, see. we're supposed to come around 7 p.m. So we don't yeah. want to barge in too early. Oh, yeah, we have yeah, a few, few more minutes. So anyway, we'll talk for a little bit more. But I see that the third generation owner. Ola from Colorado checking in. Oh, hi, Ola. Hey. Is wearing traditional Ukrainian garb tonight. He does. So he's, we'll he's get, hopefully, up. we'll get to meet him. Yep. And this is a kind of a really a special event in that they're trying to raise awareness of unique Ukrainian food. RJ and loves to eat Hudson eating hot dogs. Oh yeah, we don't RJ, have I know guys, we don't well we don't have Hudson with us today because Hudson we're hey, going, Sarah. being that this is a special seven course dinner that we're going to have, uh, you know, we didn't want him to be interruptive. He would be all over the you know borscht and everything else because if you haven't ever had borscht it's made with beets but they they it's also made with pork oh I thanks think mighty bull for dollar 99 oh, thank, thank you. you fantastic job thank you he says thanks oh yeah. that's our, that's our another friend he's uh yeah. he's been the with the restaurant yeah. a really long time as well yeah. so yeah. yeah this is Veselka. thank god they're here to stay because even though they don't own the building the ukrainian boy scouts show the little building in fact oh, yeah. show this ukrainian national yeah, let's go over here for Okay. Well, maybe we should. Uh, yeah. You can see Ukrainian National Home. Yep. So they own this entire building, and written in the lease is hey, that Vestelka can be here to stay. Thank goodness. So yep. we don't have to worry about Vestelka, even though, I mean, they struggled. They, they closed for a while during the pandemic uh, because it was, um, you know, very, very difficult for them. They have a lot of people that don't live in the neighborhood that work here and they wanted to keep their staff safe so they <laughs> they closed for many months during the pandemic but they reopened they have a beautiful outdoor dining area they specialize oh hope pizza no well, ukrainian food tonight yeah but i want to tell you something before about we the... go in about Veselka. they have four full-time women that just make pierogies they make between three thousand to four thousand pierogies each day, right. each day, each day, four women. Each and every and day. And we have a video of them baking them. Yep. It's like a little cookie cutter. Like they yep. roll out the dough and then it's like a cookie cutter. They're like dumplings. Hey, you know, Paul. They, they put them with fill, filling. Hey, so that's their specialty here. I don't even know if we're going to yeah, be we'll having that tonight. For Hudson, oh, of go, course. Uh, so let's go. Let's go um, find uh, Jason. Yeah. You see there's some news people over there. Yes, I saw some news people. Yep. And we'll kind of find out what it's all, all yeah, about. Yeah, what this is all, what we got in store. Oh, why don't hey, we show, Kim, show this beautiful mural while had, we're at had, it. Uh, okay, had, had some uh, really good borscht in Finland. Good, so. Okay, so we'll see. Here, I'll, I'll, get, I'll show it. Oh, I got it. Here, here. Yeah. Here. I want to show you this beautiful mural. It was painted by a local Arn artist, yep. Arnie. Okay. And there we go. So I'm going to pass this off to James. So yes. hold on. Oh, so sorry. Hello. So when I, when I see him, I'll let him know that we're here. Yeah. Maybe it's in there with the flowers. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to find out. See, I think, see... We can, uh, you want to come, well, well, I can always ask. Okay. Hey, how are you? How's everything? Good, how are you? good. <laughs> uh, thank you for, <laughs> yes, thank you for welcoming you us. In? Yeah, we haven't checked in yet, should oh, we? Well, well, we're still checking in, so if you guys want to come in, check it out. It's Perfect. The angles, right, the lighting, everything else. Perfect. Please, come in. Thank you. So basically, we're going to set up right over here. Okay. The plates are already ready. Nice. Oh, uh, wonderful. I'm not sure if you got a specific spot that's there. Oh, no. Anywhere is fine with yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. so Jane, Jane, Thanks, wait, Bon Bon, for the 10. Let me take that for a second. I want to show Savoir Ukraine. I oh, want to show okay. the little Here's sign. This. Okay. See, so I can show Chef Dima. Yep. Got it. <laughs> yep. Got it. Perfect. See, celebrating and honoring Ukrainian cuisine. Nice. Extra good. Huh? Yep, thank Bon Bon for us. Oh, Bon Bon. 10 bucks. Thank you. So if you guys want to pick out the best angle to shoot that from, oh, sure. Perfect. 
Perfect. Right there. Extra good. Yeah, Perfect. we'll get the lighting set up. Thank you. Well, the lighting is, I'm going to find it will go down outside, so we'll, we'll have to play around with it. This time. Okay, Perfect. well, it looks perfect for us, so yeah. we're, we're good. Over here? Yeah, this is good. We'll tuck ourselves in the corner. Okay. Hey, guys, how are you? Oh, hi, Jason. Okay. So, I'm going to, I'm going to be quiet. There's um, Bon Bon, I want to thank you. I'm going to be quiet. Bon Bon, thank you for this. I grew up in Queens with Irish, Polish, and Ukrainian nationalities. Bon Bon, I'm whispering. I hope you can hear me. Let me know if you can. I'm trying to be quiet. Yes, another camera crew, because this is a big deal because um, the Ukrainian embassy is, is sponsoring it. So the... So why don't you get that? Oh, so check that for us. Oh, oh, thank you, Myrna. Thank you, Myrna. So saying, They're doing I was an here. I have an extra drink from, on, uh, for me. We will. We They're will. doing an interview right now, so we're asked to be quiet just for a minute. Yes, especially me, because you know my voice carries. Yeah, here, so should I? Um... Yeah, I'm going to take my jacket off. Yeah. Oh, good, Carol. Thanks. Do you want to sit there? Let me see. Maybe people would like it better. This might work better. Because then you have a nice background, right guys? Trenton 62. Thank you for the 99 cents. That's a fantastic job. So this is a special menu right here. There we go. Beautiful music, white and red pastry moss. Oh, extra good. Yeah. Nice. And then, oh, God, do you know what that is, guys? That's a special stew. A stew. And then, uh, Myrna has some Lithuanian and uh, Russian. Heritage? Oh, wow. Some Russian and Lithuanian and Polish oh, okay. for her mother. And Pete Leader saying, hi from Australia, great to see you enjoying NYC Life. Hey, heaps, heaps of love right back at you. So look at this. These are the chefs that are the and we're going to go, tell me what the U.S. was. This course is much of a part of Ukrainian cultural heritage. Wow. Oh, that's extra good. That's very cool. And Bruce, can I tell you something about the Borscht Year? They make around a thousand gallons of Borscht every year. Every week. I think we go to around 500 pounds of beets a week in order to make that much Borscht. Crazy. Yeah, it was a super twisty. So I'm kind of whispering. Just keeping it low because Jason, one of the owners. Oh, my mic is over there. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, he's created this eclectic seven course menu. There will be some drink, non alcoholic. I hope you guys don't have any allergic reaction. Uh, no, allergic we're, to anything. we're it's ready to eat anything. We're going to eat honeybees, <gasps> fermented I, honeybees. We're going to have filet mignon. <gasps> we're going to have borscht. Extra good. We're going to have a little different. He's gonna, and you're, we're going to start off by creating a, you're going to create a painting of. Um, on your plate that you're going to dip your bread in and eat. Oh, it's all oh. oh my God, that oh, sounds God. so that amazing. Sounds cool. Very so dope. As we sit, he's going to come up here and introduce himself and introduce each course and explain what, you, what you're going to have, what you're eating. Excellent. And it's going to be course, the server, the server will come and grab your dirty plates and there will be some drink pairings, as I said, uh, with each uh, course. Now what, when is, um, I know usually Ukrainian Easter is different than... Uh, right, so Ukrainian Easter is uh, a month later than uh, traditional Catholic Easter, so it's coming up May 2nd. Oh. So we are in a period of Lent, which some Ukrainians don't eat meat during this period, but we're, we are going to be enjoying meat. <laughs> some meat courses. We're, we're, we're up for it. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jason. Yep. Really Thanks, appreciate Jason. it. Thank you for, for the invite. Thanks, Jason. So that was so nice. Yeah, that was so really guys, nice. this is really exciting. Oh, there's our friend Andrew. So, yeah. Andrew's the owner of of the uh, of, of the East Village Meat Market, um, aka Jay Basinski Meat Market, and they supply for the last 60 years all the smoked kielbasa and ham that is served here at the Selka. So. Um, and sadly, Mr. Basinski um, just passed away just a few weeks ago. And um, Andrew is like his adopted son, I guess you could say, would, yeah. be, a, would be a good word for it. <laughs> Reese Sanders says, it's the fermented honeybees like the worm in Mescal. Oh, I do. I don't know. I never I'm, had any of this. I'm not, I'm, this is all new to me. I mean, we've had borscht. Yeah. Their borscht here is delicious. Yeah. We've had both their summer and their winter borscht. And their winter borscht. Right. The summer borscht is served cold and has like a hard-boiled egg in it. It's yep. extra good. And their yep. winter, and that's like a pink, a pink color. Yep. And their uh, regular uh, winter borscht just served hot, and it's like, you know, bright red like a beet, you know? Right. <laughs> oh, hey, XOXO. Yeah, El, it's really filling up. A Ukrainian XOXO's pole in. vaulter, yeah. yeah. He said that Ukrainian musicians and actresses and wow. like famous Ukrainian people are going to nice. be here. We I mean, picked a spot kind of near where he's going to explain, but over in the corner a little bit. Right, because we, you know, we figured, let's ourselves like uh, yeah, you know we're, we're, to we're be, not disturbing anyone right we don't streaming exactly exactly we want to we want to be on the dl guys yeah. <laughs> yeah i like his outfit it's really cool yeah it's really 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 nice <laughs> that's andrew that about yep. that we're waving to that's yep. uh you know the owner of yep. the meat market oh, like borscht a, can be Dwayne saying borscht can be made meatless for Christmas. Yes, nice. that's true. They, but I know for for a fact because we've seen it being made here that they have um, that's a pork stock in, in yeah. it as well. Yeah. So he said even to, though it's period of Lent right now yep. that they're. Um, Let me put it over here. No, no, because we're going to be needing to grab okay. it. Okay, gotcha. Why don't yeah. you get it out and put it on the, over so here? So how does how are the mics sounding, guys? Are you are you so, able to hear us? Yeah, um, pretty flowers. Let us know if you can hear us well. And yeah. I'm going to get um, the camera out for when we're ready in a little while. So see, in 1954. And yeah, this that's a is real nice diner. Third generation now owner. That's the owner right there in case you're just, if you're just tuning in to our yeah. stream. This is the chef. Right. This is one of the chefs. That's the chef owner. Tomorrow. The owner is. In good sound. Good sound. Good, good, good sound. It's Jason Bouchard and he's Thanks, standing Dave. right there. So. Thanks again for the screenshots, Dave. We always love them. Oh, we do. We do. We, yeah. In fact, honestly, we look forward to choosing. Well, what, let's let's screenshot. Oh, oh, sure, sure, sure. 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 Yep, here we go. Oh, here we go. Let me get the uh, email. Do you need this one? Hold on. No, I should have it. Hold on. Let me find it. We're going to scan in. <laughs> there it is. Uh, let's see. Um... Let's go to your phone. Let's go to your camera. Oh, just go to camera. Okay. Oh, I have to scan. I thought you meant I have to. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Fill out the form and that's how you get to go. Okay, got Thank it. Thank you. 
Thanks. I thought he He's he, helping us through. Yeah, he helped us through. You know, Jim's kind of hopeless with this stuff. Oh, which app do people use to scan menus? I'm clueless. Oh, that, that's, um, you just go to your, I, we have an iPhone, so you just go to your camera, and then you just take a picture of it, and then, th then it automatically comes up. Okay. This is a Google Doc, a Google Doc. Yes. It's Google. Google Doc. Yeah. Yep, and someone's saying you can tell how nice he is, how he treats the people who works here and the customers. Exactly. That the place is good shape. Q, QR app, uh, Myrna saying. Oh, okay, yes, QR code. Hey, yes. Marion. Oh, hi, Marion. Okay. Samsung also, Joe and Jonathan. Oh, on the Samsung Galaxy, same thing, right? Yeah, XOXO, me too. Uh, you know, Carly always takes care of this stuff. She kind of takes the helm, takes the wheel. Yeah, oh. Dwayne, it's really inviting in here. Real nice time. Home address. Wow, they really want a lot. Yep. That's for contact tracing, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, don't show that, you know, because no, otherwise know. everybody knows <laughs> where we live. I got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See there. Look at how pretty the paintings are. Look, I'm going to show right up here how pretty. I had BK and it was nasty, but I ate it. Okay, XOXO. You know, I'm not the most. Carlos a very adventurous eater. Adventurous uh, I'll eat anything. Yeah, it is Once. I might not like it, but I'll eat it the first time at least. Yeah, yeah, very beautiful in here. Very nice place. Open 24 hours, right? Not now. Not now with COVID. Because American. of COVID restrictions, they, they have to close. Right. Um, hey, Chester Field. Hi from Japan checking in. Someone from Ukraine checking in. Joan, we'll explain it again in a little bit. Yeah, I'm still filling out my form, so that's why I'm silent here. Yeah, so party's just getting underway, Chester Field, Miss. Yeah, Patrick, this is a nice little spot. Yeah, I, th I think we have the perfect spot. Yeah. Okay, I'm submitting my Google form. Yeah. Yeah. Here's Carla, she's filming on her thing. I don't want to show the info. Okay, um, I'm done. Nice. Good. <laughs> Do you want to peek around a little bit? Oh, sure. Just peek over there. And All right, guys, here. so I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna kind of show you the scene here. I'm gonna go try to be out of the way as well. I want to show you the old Coca-Cola. See the see the old Coca-Cola sign. Where is Hudson? Oh, Hudson is home. He was. Did your mom make pierogies? Um, uh, Dwayne's asking Myrna. So, and uh, look at the beautiful paintings on the wall. And all, see, these are the, all the traditional Easter eggs. Because, like you said, Jason was saying that it's going to be Ukrainian Easter in a few more weeks. These are the special eggs, all decorated. I'll get a doggy bag for Hudson. Oh, you know we will. But you see, there's a sign 24 hours. So they would be open 24 hours if it wasn't for the coronavirus restrictions. But because of coronavirus, it's only um, limited capacity for indoor seating at 50%. And you can't stay open um, nearly. You know, you can't stay open as late either. Did you want to get the camera out so you get the light ready to take pictures yes, of the food? Yes. No, my ancestors are not from yeah. Poland. My ancestors are from Germany. Uh, but I would say a lot of a lot of foods are hearty foods in Germany as well. So there's a lot of stews and yeah, and, and you know stuffed cabbage. You all um, I've had uh, I guess in a German fashion as well. Yeah, yeah. I know they have stuffed cabbage is really great here. M Marta said they did wild mushroom, potato, onions, cabbage, salami. Yes. 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 Lots of salami. Salami in the, in the German. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. The murals in the painting in here is beautiful, right? Thanks, nobody. So I'm gonna just kind of leave this out. Yeah. The world's largest Easter egg is in Edmonton in Alberta. 
Oh, that's so cool. Easter egg. We love that kind of stuff, those roadside attractions. Should I get a, a shot of Jason just, uh, you know, milling around? When he's free. Yeah. Yeah, just get the light, you know. I'm going to get the light set. Anything. I think you're going to be tied to green. No, no, I'm good right now. People filming. Yeah, this is a, it's, it's a, it's an event. Yeah, it is. So I might get a, a portrait of just Jason standing in front of the, um, Hala. Yeah, when, when we get a free, chance. Yeah. yeah. I should have done it before, yeah. but yeah, I... Yeah, Dwayne, I mean, that's what someone else said. The largest Easter egg is in Vagraville, Alberta. Oh, that's so yeah, cool. Yeah, hit that like button, everybody checking in. Extra good. Yeah. Very <laughs> cool. Very cool. Wow, she's got yeah. the big LED lights. Yeah, I got that she's huge set. light on. He's set. It's like an exploring light. <laughs> yeah. So I got a monopod. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is we don't have it. You know, there's an extension to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but what, I, I looked in the light and it, it seemed pretty good. And I'm like, this I can shoot at a really high ISO. Like I shoot manually anyway, so I'm, I'm good. I, <laughs> if I need it, I'll borrow. <laughs> uh, we have another phone. I can always no, use no, a light. No, no. This is what I shoot everything with. Nice. Oh, with the, and you use Lightroom? No. Just regular, ready to go. Ready to go. Nice. You, you, that's, we call that the KISS method. Yep. <laughs> no fuss, no muss. <laughs> pretty much. Yep. But it comes out pretty, pretty well. Oh, yeah. Extra good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, I mean, the, the phone cameras are amazing now. They really, really are. Oh, Barbara, thank you. <laughs> it's, it's like kind of sad when we think about like the first digital camera we ever bought, that it was like <laughs> garbage in comparison. Oh, Jason, can I get a, a photo of you standing like maybe like oh, sure. right, right here real quick? Oh, that would be... No, no, I'm, I'm fine. That's, I'm um, fine. Don't worry. It's a, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with. I love it, and I'll lighten you up. Good. I got you with highlight in the background. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Extra yeah. good. I got a nice picture nice. of Jason. Yeah. I'm James, by the way. This is my wife, Carla. Roman. Hey, oh, Roman. Hi, Roman. Nice to meet you. This ought to be fun, right? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're excited. We're, yeah. we're always excited about everything. <laughs> when it comes to food, then, then, I'm, then I'm excited. <laughs> I'm in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so let's see. And I'm gonna lighten it up. Oh yeah, it's gonna look perfect. Extra perfect. good. Yep. And I got two, I got my batteries double, double, triple, yep. extra charged. Yep. So no problems with battery yeah. life tonight. And Polish we mug shot there, Carla of Jason. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> right, Paul McDonough? Yeah, this so you guys know if you want to, if they want to sh they sh see. This is our, this is the the 5D Mark IV that we use when we're, you know, for our uh, interior photography. And this is one of our favorite lenses. It's not a very expensive lens, but it's really great. It's a 20 millimeter, which in, gives you like a really nice wide field yeah, of view. Yeah, but not much distortion. But not much distortion, and it has. Um, you know, it, it lets in a lot of light. So even if it's a, you're shooting in a dark environment, like this isn't, you know, I'm not using an external light. It still provides plenty of light for the camera. Oh, Ukrainian Easter bread, Pasca, Pasca is, is so, so good. It's so good, oh. We like the um, Polish donuts, right, Pasca. Pasca, yeah, Pasca, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so, so we're we really have a really excited. exciting menu tonight. Let's, yeah, let's go for those break that, it down. For those that you Just joining it. us, we're at a special event at you. At uh, Veselka. Veselka. And it's sponsored by the Ukrainian Embassy. And it's to raise awareness of traditional Ukrainian food. Some of some of the food may not be, you know, that well known. I mean, a lot of people have heard of borscht. And they're also currently working with UNESCO to list borscht as an intangible part of Ukrainian cultural heritage. That's down at the bottom. Yeah, Patrick, we'd have to agree. He's saying they make good cameras, but the printers aren't so hot. Oh, Canon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that's such a very, very point. I mean, we have hey, a Canon printer. Explorers. It's not bad, but we have an Epson printer, Nice too. seeing you in Coney Island the other day for the opening. Oh, that was so much Afras. fun, guys. Yeah, and we listen, made it out alive. Yes. Listen, guys. <laughs> uh, don't worry, we'll bring Hudson home a doggy bag. Hey, B Pet V show, B P E T V show. Oh yes, yes. the B P E T V show. 
If you if you're on our channel, you know me. So you you saw if you guys haven't seen, we put up a little video. We premiered it today of Hudson getting his Nathan's famous hot dog. Now that pales in comparison to the amazing kielbasa that they serve here at Veselka. Yeah. Which is like amazing oh, yeah. kielbasa that they make right across the street at. Jay Basinski East Village Meat Market. They have yep. a smoker right and they can the make it. And James and I went there across the street and we filmed, we photographed the whole process of them making the meat. We had to go early in the morning and we got out. Hudson was going crazy when we got back home because all our clothes smelled of smoked meat. Oh yeah. We, 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 you know Hudson loved that. Oh yeah. We, I kind of did too, if I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, but it's like Hudson <laughs> wanted to eat us, I thought. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, Patrick, he's saying Kodak really screwed up not to stay on digital market. Oh yeah. Not getting up to speed. Yeah. No, no, this, um, the restaurant is a, it's not an expect like four dollar sign restaurant. No, not at all. No, no, I would say I, it's, I, it's uh, a more affordable um, Ukrainian yeah. soul food. Yeah, more two dollars, right. two it's, three, it's, I would say. It's not the, the least expensive place. It's not the least, no. But it's not the most expensive no, no. by far. Right, right. You can come in here one night, Saturday, you know, and, and just get something nice. Yeah. And you're not going to break the bank. No, not at all. Not, not at, at all. all. And a great place for brunch as well. Yeah, Alfred, I got my. Uh, I got my White Horse Tavern T-shirt on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> here, I can. Uh, I can. Yeah. I can show. There, show. If someone wants to see. Okay. Because you look so nice. Uh, you know. He's there got it is. White Horse Tavern. White Horse Tavern. Yeah, bandana, sneaker. You know. Yeah. This isn't the. You know. This is not a, like it's a, a fancy very, place. Yeah, we're very familiar with it. This is very like East Village. You know, yeah. you can you can dress yeah. whatever. You can get dressed up. You can dress down. You can yeah. dress. However you want. Like in yep. the East Village, you're accepted no matter yep. what. Our I East like. Village meat guy, he wore a suit. Yes. Yeah. yeah, Sarah. Yeah, yeah. But you know, sometimes, <laughs> you know, right, he's, right. In a, he's in his butcher outfit all day long. He's so always in his white apron. Yeah. Right. So sometimes, like, I feel like if you if you're dressed for a certain work attire, right. that sometimes you just want to get dressed up at night. You know, like that sure. makes you feel nice. You know, like yeah, doing Mary, something special. Yeah, Mary's missing Hudson. I, you know. Mary Johnson, I uh, I hate going anywhere without Hudson. Yeah, so, but we couldn't bring so him So Carla has to take me by the collar, or the ear, and mm -hmm. drag me out of the apartment to get me to go anywhere without Hudson. So. Right, and we had to profusely apologize to him. And I promised him that hopefully we'll bring Chef Dima's special short rib pierogi Hey, out and about, him. checking in. Oh, there's Chef Dima. Hi, out and about. <laughs> yep. Yep. Chef Dima makes the most amazing, amazing, amazing. short rib filled pierogi. Now, yep. traditionally, they don't hey, use Brian, short rib. Hey, Brian, a new subscriber from Newcastle on Tyne. Oh, thank you so much. Newcastle Brown Ale Oh, thank over you, here. Myrna, for putting the address of Baselka. It's yep, right on the corner you. of 2nd Avenue and East 9th Street. Thanks, Bob. Yes, and I put it in the video description as well. Do they have stu students head cheese there? Um, I bet they do. I, I'm, I'm not really sure. If at the meat market? Oh, at the, the meat market, yes. I think the meat market they do. Oh, hey, Chef Dima, how are you? How I was just you? telling everybody about your amazing short rib pierogi. I know that it's not on the menu tonight, but that's our favorite, favorite. You're amazing. We can't wait to, to try everything. <laughs> Extra good? <laughs> next level, yeah. Oh, next, next level. level. <laughs> I love it. I love That's it. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank Enjoy. you so much. Thank you. Can I get a photo of you as well? Oh, that would Carlos be great. Carlos, can get a photo of Chef Dima? Let's Tima. see. Oh, yeah. We're, let's put you, and then the, the, the Easter eggs will be right in the background. It'll just be from, like, uh, Very chest nice. up. Very okay. nice guy. We watched well, him prepare I turned the camera on. That might uh, be good. food in the basement one night. <laughs> And uh, they have a huge oh, yeah, kitchen yeah, downstairs. You know, huge. It's fine, huge you know. Staff, that way nobody pots, says anything. Sometimes I just leave it on because, so like, sometimes you take going. it off and they're like, why does it have a mask? Or, like, well, we're eating. That's why. You know, some, some people don't understand. But thank you so much. You got okay. a picture of Chef Dima? Yes, I did. Excellent. Yeah, he's a great guy. Everybody asks, do you want the mask on? Do you want the mask off? And yeah. to be honest, We've taken, yes, a couple he's the of, chef. we've taken a couple of portraits of the owners without their masks on, and then we put them up on social media. Everybody immediately gets Everybody angry complains. that they don't have their mask on. And I'm like, well, that's because it's just a picture. And we're, and but, we're eating and Right, drinking. so now I just tell them to just leave it on. It's just easier because that way we don't have to 
to um, you know deal with explaining why their mask yeah, he's was great, off. Myrna. I he's told him so we watched him down in the kitchen. Oh, he's Big so kitchen. talented. So yeah, and he, talented. and he has so many people working. And, and he's and won a lot of awards for his food in many years yeah. in a row for different foods, including, I think, his short rib pierogies. I'm, yeah. I'm uh, almost 100% certain that it won an award. Yeah, yeah Hudson, somebody else mentioned leaving Hudson home. He's my little homie. Yeah. I mean, Hudson goes everywhere with me. I don't know who's more attached. I think we're both are just yeah. the same attached. That Hudson's our little friend. He's our little homie. He hangs out with us. And uh, once we leave them, it's tough, tough well, for me. And talking about our little homie, do you know that, you know, on our live stream that we did on Saturday night, we went to Soho and we went into Vesuvio Bakery and we got the prosciutto bread. Yep. We, we heated it <laughs> up at home, like as yeah. promised. And Hudson loved, loved, loved the prosciutto bread from Vesuvio. So for all of you that didn't think that Hudson got any prosciutto oh, bread. Oh, he sure did. Don't worry. Don't worry about Hudson. He was so excited about it. It was really extra, extra good. Yeah, we're getting closer to merch, guys. That's someone just asked, when are we doing the Hudson yeah, merch? Yeah, that's when we reach 10K. It's we're, getting closer. We're, we're getting, getting closer. getting closer. We're climbing there. Inch by inch, life's a cinch. Yard that's by yard, right. life is hard. Yeah. So we're just taking our time. We're having fun. And we'll be there before you know it. And then we'll get our Hudson t-shirt. You'll have your mugs. That's right. You'll have your pillows. And, and many thanks. I don't know if he's watching right now, but we... One of our um, channel subscribers, Julio, yep. is actually helping us design merchandise. He's a graphic designer. Yeah, came and up he with some offered, nice stuff. He offered his services just to help us out. And uh, he's, I mean, the designs that he's coming up with, I, I can't wait to share them with you guys. Yep. Uh, they're so amazing. He's so talented. Marilyn's saying, what does it Hudson like? He's the best treated dog. He hates getting a bath. He does not like water. He does not like water. It's an ordeal when we have to bathe him. Right. He likes drinking water, but he does not like being in the water. Um, yep. My maternal great... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We, 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 we got to rewind the chat. Okay. My maternal great-grandparents were named... We're married in New York City in 1900 after coming from Czechoslovakia. Wow. Through Ellis Island from Poland. Oh, oh that's fantastic. You know, a lot of the cuisine is that's very so similar. Um, you know, a lot of Polish people actually work in the kitchen down here. Yeah. They're not, because Ukrainian and Poland are very similar in some of the foods, like, like the pierogies, very similar. Very similar. Very similar. So not only does Jason Bouchard speak Ukrainian, but he also speaks Polish. Yes. He had to learn Polish so he can communicate with some of the workers here. Yeah. I just look up on Amazon and they go, there it was. Oh, oh, that's awesome, oh, Bonbon. Bon. Thank you, Bonbon. Bonbon, bon, did you see, did you watch the Hudson getting his um, hot dog video? We, 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 we debuted your, your collapsible bowl in that as well. If you yes. haven't seen it, we just post, we just put it up today. I'm not sure if you had a chance yeah. to hey, look Tanny. at it. Tanny's checking in. Oh, hey, Tanny. Hey, Tanny. We're in Vasalka in the East Village. Right. It's but, Tuesday night, New York City. It's just after 7, coming up on 7.30. It's fairly warm today. Yep. It rains like like cats and dogs yesterday. It All day that. it rains. Yeah, it was a soaker. It was a super soaker that they said on the news. Yeah, it just... And it rained into the night. And in fact, Hudson woke me up at 5 a.m. because he does not like to go out in the rain. So somehow he uh, knew uh, that it that stopped the rain raining. Stopped. Yeah, and five, he woke me up to go out because... When I took him out before we went to bed, which was like around, I guess, 1 a.m. or something like that, it was raining so hey, hard, Gary. he just refused to go outside. Yeah. He just looked outside, I opened the door, and he looked around and he just wouldn't budge. He wouldn't budge. He wouldn't budge. He wouldn't budge. Yeah. Okay. I might be shouting. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get excited. Loud. I get excited. Yeah, everyone's excited. We got a new next level menu tonight. Chef Dima even himself introduced himself to Right. Next level. Yep. Next said. level menu. We got a... Uh, Eatable An edible, painting. Edible painting. <laughs> eatable. Eatable. Edible. Well, it is eatable, edible. Yeah, I know. Either way. I'm just kidding. Potato, potato. Yeah. White and red beets with moss and dill seeds. Dill seeds. Honey bees, propolis, which is like a derivative of a hunt from the bees. Yeah, Myrna, you're going to love those water bowls. She's getting them for her walks. Oh, they're yeah, so great. Those. They're really wonderful. Bon Bon like, was yeah. like a 10,000% like with, with that choice. Yeah. Nice. And Bob then... A uh, fantastic job. Yep. Would you guys like some wine? Uh, water is fine with us. Water's fine? Water's fine, thank you. Yeah, thank no you. problem. Take your time. Yeah, this is a special... Out and about. Explain to Out and about what's going on. This is a special seven-course menu. 
and that Veselka teamed up with the Ukrainian embassy to highlight traditional Ukrainian food that may be not as well known as other Ukrainian food. And that's what this is all about. So they have a special seven course menu tonight. We were invited um, as part of the um, press, I guess you could say. Yeah, uh, friends, friends and um, yeah. there's also, he said, uh, Ukrainian actresses and actors here tonight, Ukrainian musicians, people, you know, from Ukraine that would be uh, wanting a taste of home. Yeah. So we're going to get a taste of home. You bet. Yeah, so that's what this is. It's kind of a special dinner. Right. Yeah. Things that aren't normally on their menu. Right. Right. And we're just showing you the scene. Carla's going to hop over there when we when the food starts coming. And we'll show you all the food that's going to come out of here. Right. They're going to explain everything that they're making tonight. It will be explained yeah. Look, in the, detail. And it starts out with the most intriguing thing, the, the edible painting. Yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to and that. Then, and then there's honeybees somewhere along the and way. With honeybees propolis, which is propolis, I know that they use that. It's kind of like... Um, you know how like manuka honey is used like for healing purposes and things like that? Right. That's how I know the word propolis. Right, right, right. Someone else has their Billy the Kid mask on over there. Yeah, see? No, no, Carla. It's You're like not a alone. right behind us is a bench out and about. Yes. So we're kind of both crowded over on the bench in the over here. That way and you then, can sit next to And then to Carla's going to jump right over here. When the food comes. When the food starts coming or when they start talking. And I like this seat right here because it's a lot of light with the, to take food photos. Take food photos. I can you stand on here. Yeah. You see what I'm, my, my idea is? To stand on the bench and then... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> you got my... I got you. I got the gist. Perfect. So guys, we had fun out in Coney Island the other I, day. Oh, and can you guys see the, the tenement um, tenement buildings directly across the street? Yeah, right the across street. the street. Yeah, you can see the fire escapes. Yeah, that's old windows. tenement buildings. Those are Lower East Side tenement, East Village tenement buildings. Yeah. And one of our favorite stores, Katinka. No, we didn't bring Katinka. You got it. Yes. We didn't bring a tripod out and about. We're just. No, we're, we're just gonna fly by the seat <laughs> of our pants. Excuse me. Yep. We're, we're, we, we, we know how to use a tripod, we often do, but we figured for tonight that we don't want to encumber ourselves with a tripod, that it takes up a lot of room yeah, and so then it becomes a big deal, you know? Right. Some of these might be food magazines that you see with their tripods and lights. Right. We're not going that far tonight. Exactly. Oh, thanks. We're yep. keeping it simple. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So Thank look, you. even the water glasses. Yeah. By the way, you can buy merchandise from Veselka. Yeah, you if you're interested in supporting them and you live far away that you can't order food, they have uh, they have merchandise for sale, including their plates and their glassware. I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain of that. We're pretty far from the tenement museum. Like globally, yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty close. But I'd say it's about 20 blocks. It's on Delancey Street. Delancey. So you'd have to go all the way down to Houston. Yeah, so about a mile and a half. About a right. mile and a half mile away. And a half, Paul. It takes us about 20 minutes to walk there. Oh, writer Jordan's asking, where did Hudson get his stylish army vest? Oh, I got that. Actually, it, you can thank John Joseph of Cro-Mags for the yep. hookup on um, Hudson's tactical vest. Because John Joseph of Cro-Mags is our neighbor, and we're friends with him. He has a dog named Stormy Bear. And Stormy Bear was wearing the vest, one, um, the tactical vest, and I complimented it. And I said, oh, that's such a great vest. Uh, where did you get it? And he's like, oh, my girl Erica got it for him. If you want one, uh, she'll get one for you. So she, she, uh, she got it for me, and I just paid her back. So I'm not really sure where she got it from. I think it might have been a pet store in the neighborhood, but I just, because they knew what size Hudson was, uh, they just, they they uh, they gave me the hookup. Oops, yep. Hey, oh, wait up, Myrna. Hang on, I'm rewinding it back. Propolis are the yellow granules that are derived from the pollen, turning into honey. They have high protein, oh, wow. antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. Nice Very job, healthy. Myrna. I knew it was something Fanta with healing. Fantastic job, Myrna. See, I, I knew it. Yep, that was excellent. Right, Myrna, like Manuka honey. Like you use Manuka honey. It's all um, yeah. really excellent as well, right? Yep. And then, hey, Joe from Cleveland checking in. Oh, thank you. Nice job, Joe. Delancey James, Essex, 
at the station I've used. Oh, good, Paul. Oh, cool. Yeah, Paul. So, you know, it's just a, relatively, it's not that far. But no, it, not far at it'd all. Be, it'd be a quick little walk down there. It would take us about 20 minutes to walk from our apartment. About 20 minutes if we weren't hurrying, you know. Right. You got a leisurely pace. Right. Right. I think I could pull down my mask to drink yeah, some water. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Yes, he's heard of the, the hardcore band Chrome Mags. Yeah, they used to have severe shows. Oh my God. Their live shows were. Uh, I mean, raucous. people got hurt. Yeah, yeah. It was, <laughs> you could say. It's no joke. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's a, he's like a triathlete now. He's still oh in fantastic God, he's doing shape. Oh my God, Iron Man. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's still in fantastic shape. Yeah, he John just Joseph. had come. He just came back from Mexico. He was training for his next Iron Man. Yep. Yeah, fantastic, fun guy. Oh, yeah. Beautiful dog he has. Oh, like and they him and love Hudson. each other. They get along great. Oh, well, his, do his, his doggy is big. His dog weighs well over 100 pounds. Yeah, we're living dangerously in that, sitting in that restaurant. <laughs> well, no, not at all. Without Hudson, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, look, we got the divider. Yeah, we got Show. the divider. We, we got, got the stuff. divider. Bon Bon, check it in. Sarah, check it in. And they have a very good um, air filtration system here as oh, well. Oh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful in here. Yes. Yep. Hudson Jack is getting another night off. Oh, yes. Yeah, as we were just explaining earlier how I don't like leaving my little homie at home. But we'll bring home a doggy bag for so him. We're bringing home a doggy bag. You got it. Short rib pierogi. Yeah, short rib pierogi. That's what we'll get for him. Yep. I'll place an order before we go. Yep. Oh, my mom was in the underground punk scene in the 80s, so oh, oh, he was so raised cool. right. That's awesome. Oh, my God. That's awesome. So you know all about that stuff. Yep. Agnostic Front. All those guys. Right, Ryder? Right, Ryder Jordan? Did you just have oh. to go like that? Oh, it's right you here. Scroll? Ryder Jordan. Oh. Uh, Jory Gory Lurie. 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 Yep. <laughs> yeah, we... uh. We were all into that stuff. I know, I'm back. Yeah. Something having a break from each other. Yes, that's yeah, true out and about. We figure he's at home working on his novel. Yeah, yeah that's right. And you, know, and, you know, honestly, we walk so this, much with Hudson that sometimes I feel like... He needs a break. ...that he does need to just rest sometimes, especially from his duties as a um, videographer. Right. You know, when he yeah. does his live streams and everything like yeah. that. Right. People getting interviewed. Mm -hmm. Let's zoom in and see who this is. I th James, I think we should keep one of these nice so we don't get like food on and stuff on it. Yeah, let's yeah, keep, let's one, keep of one of those nice. nice. Let's put it over here nice, okay? Yeah, I love this. I hope to do some streams in the future. And they are, yeah, they're fun. Yes, Hudson has dog buddies. We were just mentioning John Joseph's dog, Stormy Bear. Stormy Bear, yeah. It's one of his big favorites. Hudson has a lot of friends. Yep, I kind of got a bad view there. There she is. Not sure. Not sure, Chestnut Field. Not Field, I, I, Moss. I, I, I zoomed in. Maybe someone would know. It looks like um, Jenny Shimuzu, kind of, but not, you know. But it's not. But it's not, you know. Yeah. I'm just winding back. Yeah, so if anybody knows. Thank you all for coming. This is a very special night for us here at Basoka. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jason Burchard, I'm third generation proprietor. My grandfather, who's pictured here above me, came to America, came to the U.S. in the late 1940s. Vladimir Dover Paul started the Basilica as a small soup stand, a new shop. You'd be very proud to see the Patriot of Ukraine. And we have the great honor tonight of uh, hosting Master Chef from Ukraine, Danny Kovatenko, working in collaboration with <laughs> Working in collaboration with Basilica's own chef, Dima. Marzanuk and Dima Brock. So without, without them, we could not have done this, we could not have pulled this off. But before I go any further, I'm going to say a few toasts in Ukrainian, and then we're going to introduce the chef. 
Smash Noho, which means to enjoy. Das the lobby. Cheers and Slava Ukraina. Hello. Okay, 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 okay. Take it from here. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, hello. Uh, yeah, man. Um, I'm uh, SOS. Uh, well, I'm first time uh, doing such uh, stuff. Uh, road of my own restaurant, though not in my uh, house. So for me, it's a bit uh, something must be this is very new. So I don't know how it uh, will be for you, but I know that uh, something will be good. Something will be awful. Something will be interesting. Like, oh my God, it's not tasty. It's interesting food. So I will understand, you know. Sometimes when you go to a, a food, like a, when you try nice food, you feel like, what is that? I don't understand why that chef cooks that. He can, he can cook just pasta and that's all. So uh, I will try to uh, to show you what that Ukrainian cuisine. I think that uh, we know we know a lot about uh, different in the world, but what is that you play? Uh, and what people, uh, they uh, eating something there, but what is that? Uh, I think nobody knows. So today is like a first day for uh, uh, for you, just to try uh, what the people in Ukraine can eat and what food was uh, 200 years ago, because uh, I was traveling abroad uh, all around Ukraine and I was, uh, I was uh, eating all these uh, Ukrainian traditional things. And uh, uh, I will, uh, you, you will eat, then I will stand here and uh, say what is that, and we will speak, we have some small conversation, because uh, food is not only about it, it's about how you feel and everything around you. Uh, thanks to Dima, he is, uh, we are studying in level one university, so I don't know how it came so that uh, we are international relations, we live from international re relations, and now we are chefs. Uh, I don't know uh, uh, what is that uh, um, with the Ukrainian education system. <laughs> but anyway, it's a uh, nice stuff. So I think uh, that uh, if you want to ask, you can ask. If I can answer, I will answer. Maybe Dima will answer something. But uh, just main thing, uh, relax and do what I tell you to do. And maybe you can feel something good, OK? Uh, OK, so let's start. Yay! Just uh, uh, painting, so I don't want you eat. Uh, I want first you paint because I know that uh, you, uh, we actually, everyone, we eat the food with our eyes. So let's, uh, uh, let's paint on our plate something, and then maybe eat, maybe not. I'm not sure. So I will, I will bring in one minute. I will bring uh, paintings, and you will start to uh, paint with your uh, spoons. And uh, you, you should imagine what uh, dish you want to eat. You should imagine maybe fish. Maybe meat, maybe something else, and you uh, with your spoon just uh, paint on your plate. And what to do next, I will tell you, okay? Thank you. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so we're going to do Thank you. Wow, that sounds like fun, right, guys? Here, I'm zooming out. Okay, zoom out. Zoom out. There we okay, go. Okay, I'm micing back up. Yeah, mic it back up. So the now first the plate smashing ceremony, Paul. So people want to see the menu again. So yeah, I agree, Jack. This is the menu, guys. Hey, Edible Christian. painting is the first thing on the menu. It's a special seven-course menu that's designed specifically to raise awareness of Ukrainian traditional food that may otherwise not be so well known. And this is a special event organized with Veselka and the Ukrainian Embassy guys. Hey Juliana, me too. What should I do with this? Just leave it here? I think so, yes. Yeah. I have the cap, you know, watch. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I'll go like this. That's better, right? Exactly. That's nice and stable. That's stable. Yeah, we're Actually, just putting our camera uh, 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 down. I got so it, I got it. Maybe not so stable. No, I got it. I got it. See, Why don't you put it? Yeah, like that. Like that. There you go. See, Carla has to touch. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, Myrna. This should be fun. Sarah, everyone watching in, thanks for coming along with us tonight. Table side with us. Want to get our napkins set? So we got our napkins. Extra good. I'm going to put it in my lap. You know I need that, right, guys? If you know anything about me, I... I'm going to keep the menu right here so we can refer to it. Yeah. Extra good. I'm yeah, excited, guys. Yeah, bring in a chair. Yeah, we're sitting there with us. Yeah, pull up a chair. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, pull up a chair. No, no, no. They're saying. Oh, but but you know, I can Christian come sit next it's to like, you. I'm yeah. gonna come sit next to you for a minute. Yeah, just for a minute. Okay. And yeah. people taking photos, filming everything. Yeah. The scene. Yeah. Right, Paul. Paul's having a bottle of lead from Mitchin. I thought this would oh, be like... Oh, Perry Perry, it should be fun. We're I looking thought this would be to extra fun to live stream because it's like something that, you know, you couldn't ordinarily... All um, do together. Do together, exactly. Yeah. So now it's just like So you're... what are we eating for dinner? Let's see, Mark. We'll okay, show wait, you the... I'll get the menu again. Hold we're on. We're going to show you the menu. It's a special seven-course menu, guys. Yeah, he it's... said some stuff we're going to like, some <laughs> stuff we might not like. But, but all of it's going to be fun. Exactly. So we're going to start with edible painting. And he said just paint something with your with your spoon. Then white and red beets with moss and dill seeds, honeybees, propolis, and sorrel. Borscht. Which yeah. I don't know if you if you I could go for the borscht. If you're just tuning in, guys, we're in Vaselta. It's a Ukrainian comfort food diner, I guess you could say. Yeah. <laughs> like that's what they like to call it. And as far as borscht is concerned, they make five thousand gallons of borscht um, like uh, every year. Every over year. Yeah, over yeah. five thousand, like almost yeah. a thousand gallons of borscht a week. They yeah. use five hundred pounds of beets to make the borscht every week they every go through. Week. And they they serve um, summer borscht, so they have like in the summertime it's 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 served cold oh, and it's a Steve. bright pink color. Yeah. We have photos of it. In fact, we'll put it up on our Patreon page. We have a really amazing photos of both the summer borscht and the winter borscht. The winter borscht, of course, is served hot, and right. th that definitely has. Um, oh, you look, know, they're doing some. Uh, oh, they're doing the edible yeah, painting. Doing okay, the edible we're, painting. we're getting ready. We're okay. Getting ready. Okay, so let me um let me come back. Remember the borscht we had in um, Poland? We found that small place. Okay, get James, get I'm ready. ready. He's gonna. He's gonna. I'm getting ready. Here we go. Oh, just put spoons back. Oh, but both of us. Put the spoons back, honey. Oh, spoons yeah. back. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, because it's a place. Oh, for the it's frame. going on the see? spoons. Yeah, and nice. You don't have some more colors, okay? Oh, I Very love good. that. So this is how it starts. Okay. They have three spoons. So, so wait, I gotta take a photo. Yeah. I'm gonna take a photo. I don't want to eat paint, Robert. I don't think that's paint. I got it. I don't think it's paint. I think it's a food. Wait, we're gonna keep this right here. Yeah, so we're gonna we can keep it right there. Between the glasses, yep, so we right don't there. lose it. Okay. Yep. So Carla couldn't see the menu. Oh no, yeah, she can read it. Yep. I'm going to do this one, James. Yeah. Oh, straighten it out. It has to be like a rainbow. See? Like that, I think. All right. That, like that. Fine. Get nice and straight. Fine. There we go. So this is the start, guys. I'm going to go hey, sideways. Welcome, All right, now I'm going to... Oh, here comes another color. Okay. Yep. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> Very good. Very good. Some green paint. Yeah. Green paint. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, nice. So from now, you need to use your imagination and create. Okay. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. So now I gotta, I gotta make something. So first, I'm gonna take a before photo. All right. Yep. Wait. I like your light. Yeah. I'm gonna, oh wait. We got one more color. One more. Oh. Here we go. Ooh. 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 Oh, thank you, it's you, Gardner, for the 500 yen. You betcha. That's a fantastic job. Oh, my God. Love that, that little sticker. Thank oh, you. Oh, extra good. Thank you, Chef. Everything Eva. makes from greens, herbs. Everything's edible, 100%. Edible. Yeah, edible, I'm going to yes. eat it all. <laughs> you got it. Wasabi colors, they're saying. All right, here we go. Ready, all right, let me James? get out of the way. Hold on. Carlos getting a little picture. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Carlos up on the table here. Oh, sure, Mark. We'll read the menu. Mark is having trouble reading the fine print. Okay, hold on. So read them the menu once you're ready. Yeah, then okay. jump I over saw... to... Uh... 
I, I have to do ma I have to do yep. manual. Yep. That's much better. Yeah, exactly, Christian. Right. I'm yep. gonna do. All right, here we go. Then we have to eat it. Yep. We're gonna make a painting. All right, there we go. That's the Very start. Nice. Very okay, nice. Okay, so now. Now, Mark, while wait, you're doing why don't that. You, why don't I do it right on this one? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use yours. Sure. Okay, so I have to, I have to make something. I know I know what I'm gonna do. Yep. Mark, while Carla's doing that. We're having an edible painting. That's what this is. It's edible stuff, and we're gonna we're, we're instructed to paint a picture with it, and then eat it. The next thing is white and red beets with moss and dill seeds. I hope you can hear me, Mark. And then after that comes honeybees, propolis, and sorrel. Then there's borscht. After that comes millet and gooseneck and apples with parsley. And after that, a ver verashaka with buckwheat bread sauce and chamomile. And then the whole thing finishes up with hamula. Okay, hold on. So I on. hope that helped out, Mark. Carla's going with the paint here. Yeah, Perry, Perry, this is fun. <laughs> Patrick, leave, leave it to you to crack me up, sure. Patrick Richardson, always with the little. Yeah. No, Carla is not Ukrainian. I'm German-American. German, and I'm Irish-American. Draw flowers, Kim is saying. Hold on, hold Very on. nice. Very nice. I think that's what might be going on over here. Here we go. Look. I'm going to mix some oh, colors. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. You do good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a different, I'm going to make, I'm going to mix a color. Yeah. Hey, Alan L checking in and all's good. They should give you brushes, right, Robert? I need a brush, but I'm, I'm making do without. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Hold on, hold then on. Then you got a little stem coming off the red thing with the green, right? Abstract painting. You got it, Bluesy Vlogs. Oh, shit. Wait, they're going to say something, honey. Happy little tree, and, right, Paul? Uh, put it on your, uh, on your plate and eat. Because uh, actually, you have now a salad. It's a salad with the panel, uh, with the small paprika. So, I'm trying. Uh, it's not that uh, easy. Parsley, uh, you have your, oh, a little so, stem going uh, up there? I can't. I love so, Yeah, yeah, I see it. And, uh, you have a bit of, uh, I see what Carla's doing. I see what she's doing. Guess what she's writing, guys. Pretty little tree. Happy little trees, right, guys? Jack Rab. Yeah, the green color looks good. Chester. Chestnut field moss. <laughs> oh, you guys in the chat are cracking me up. Oh, I'm doing my best, guys. No, oh, you're doing good. Yeah, there we go. I love HUD. For the HUD cam. Yep, for the HUD cam. Exactly. Joanna got it. Ricardo got it the first. I love Hudson. You got it. All right. Now, I got to eat it. Yep. No, but, yep. Now you're going to, no, they're going to bring around bread for us to eat it. Okay. I got to take a picture of I love HUD. All right. Okay. I don't want them, I don't, oh, here's the bread for us to, to, to scoop it all up. Exactly. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, wow, is that cranberry that. in there? Oh, Very I nice. guessed it. Cranberry. Yep. So look, Cranberry guys. Cranberry bread. I love HUD. <laughs> cool. yep. we got to take a picture of it first. Yep. Okay. I'm going to put all my artist tools yep. down. Put them on, my, on, our, on our plate. It's okay that we have to. And you can do it again over there. Hold yeah, on. that's fine. Yep, sorry, guys. So this is the first step. This is called eatable, edible painting. I love HUD. You got it. Hudson, we miss you. Hudson, we're gonna bring some home, you know that. Okay, so. So now we have like a cranberry bread. 
We're going to get a quick picture of it, and then Carla's going to taste it with me. Right, your 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 camera's um, is making Dean, right? a, you know. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, just get it. Yep, got it. I'm coming. All right, here we go. Oops. Yep, just tilt back a little. There I'm you good. Go. No, you want to get? Yep. Very cool. Ah, I got yep. it. Look, guys. Very good. Yep. There it is. Want to okay. try some? Yeah, let's try it. Let's so we're going to break off. Carla's going to break off some bread. Should I come over here now? Yeah. And then we can do write something on this one, too. Extra Oops. good, Myrna's saying. All right. Cranberry bread looks great, right, Robert? Here, Carla, show them the bread. Oh, yeah. There's the bread. Yeah, that looks extra good. All right. I'm going to try the red stuff first. All right, I'm going to try it off this spoon so as not to ruin the HUD painting. Mm -hmm. See, I just tried a little. Mmm. Mmm. Extra good. And now yeah. I'm going to try the green. I got it on the fork. Wow, it smells, it tastes so um, meaty. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Mmm. The red stuff tastes very, um... Beefy. And the green tastes grassy. Yeah, let me taste that. Taste the green. And then I gotta draw something with this one too. Here's more red. If you wanna just get a bit, bunch of red. Yeah. Oh, this is really extra good. Wow. Have you tasted the blue yet? No, I did the red. The green I'm gonna tastes do very. Your, I'm gonna do your blue because I'm gonna make something else with this very one. Very grass like. This is crazy, guys. Mm. We don't know what it's made I of. I taste blueberry in the blue. Definitely blueberry no. in the blue, guys. I wouldn't say the red is tomato paste, would you? No, no. It's definitely no. not. It has a beet flavor. Yeah. It's definitely beet. It's totally. It's. Let me taste it just to taste it. Oh, someone said the blue might be fish. No, it tasted blueberry. Yeah, it does. Mm. This is beet, guys. This is definitely beet. All right. Hey, ready? big dog pound. No, right. Joseph, this part of the restaurant is closed. They have still the outdoor it's a private, tables. Right, a private right. area for the event. This <laughs> meetup. All right, so here we go. We're gonna, I'm going to draw something else. I'm going to create. Oh, I Nick know. B, it's just for the fun of it. It's just, just have fun. Yeah, this is like the first step. The the red stuff is not either ketchup or barbecue sauce at no, all. No, it's, it's beet-like. It's like beets. Bon Bon saying do paw prints. Oh, that's a great idea. I Ooh, made another bon bon, heart. Good call. You can't not make a you heart. You can make a paw print off that. I'm going to make a heart, and then I'll make paw prints. I like that idea, guys. Yeah. yeah a blue, blue paw the, print. A blueberry paw print. The best print. way I could say is the green has a very, um, like, grass, like, vegetable-type taste. Very, very strong. Mm. Oh, yeah. And the bread's a nice compliment, right? Extra good. Paul said if Banksy did this, it would sell for 10 grand. <laughs> pounds. Yeah, then, then you eat it and it's worth even more. <laughs> you know, like the shredding, um, you know, the painting that shredded it itself. Yeah, I'm trying to decide... Red is beef. Yeah, Carlos is totally inspired. You got it, Dean. She's going for it. No, we got invited, Big Dog Pound. You had to be invited to I'm the special... I'm mixing the green with the blue. Uh, Ukrainian Embassy event. Oh, it says on the menu... It just says edible painting. It doesn't say what the ingredients are. Oh, that might be the ingredients. Oh, you think? Oh. oh. So guys, are you telling us? No, because there's seven courses though. Yeah, there's one, seven two, courses. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you're right. No, that's not what's in the menu. Okay. Oh, that looks cute. Hey, Nana, no. Oh, that was good. I'm encouraged. Okay, hold on one. I'm going to do a little bit more. Yeah, Tanny, right? 
We walked by this place on Delancey one night, painting cocktails. Remember that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is nothing like that. No. Carla made a big paw print. And a J and a K. I'm, do a K. I'm doing a K now. Annie P., yeah, it's interesting. It's They all taste so lively, too, and, and vibrant, don't they? It does. It's extra good. Okay, so I'm done with my... What's your favorite so far of those the three blueberry. colors? Yeah, the blue? The blueberry. Okay. Jay loves K, and I like the green, too. Yep. The red is just what you need the bread for. <laughs> Someone said, I hope your photography is better than your painting. Yeah, well, it wasn't that easy. I didn't have a good brush. Yes. You got to cut it. her some slack. She did that with a metal knife. Yeah, I didn't have a brush. But yeah, I see you what you're saying. More? No, I'm good. Yeah, a paw and a J and K. You got it. All right. Yeah, we're just having fun. Isn't it? What do you like best? Here, you try some more. Have some more from mine. All right. Mm. Yeah, maybe I'll have the green. I don't know why That's I'm grabbing. That's green with blue. Harika is the national drink of Ukraine, I believe. Yeah, it looks good to you. Very nice. Yep. See, I like the blueberry the best. Yep. See, look how, do you see how vibrant it is, guys? Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, Paul, this is fun. So that was the first course. Yeah, just for fun, right, dude? Lots yeah. of fun. Carla went all in. She's doing great, right, Carol? <laughs> oh, I dropped a cranberry. Carolina and likes all you did on your is likes your sweater much better. <laughs> oh, I should have made a skull. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. It was. It was really cool. Yep. Yeah, JK and the Hudson paw print, you know it. <laughs> so the place filled right up. It's, it's fairly loud in here. I don't know if you can get an impression of that with our wireless mic. Yeah, right, yeah, Jack? the wireless mic filters out of some of the surround. Jack's saying another masterpiece come and gone. Oh, yeah, here, I might I might need... This is your knife, by the way. I oh, have it over here. that's my knife, okay. Let and me set fork. this up so it doesn't get dirty. There we go. This is your knife and fork, by the way. All right, put it over here. There we go. Guys, we're getting organized. I'm going to tuck my mask inside my jacket so I yeah. don't... So, that was step one. Step one. Edible. The edible painting. Next up, white and red beets with moss and dill seeds. Yeah. Carla needs a t-shirt, Body with Nine saying it says extra good. That's yeah. one of our t-shirt designs with Hudson. Yep, yeah, with Hudson. Because this was extra good and extra fun. Yeah. No, the flower's not edible, I don't think, Paul. <laughs> it's a daffodil and a tulip. Yeah. I don't know. So that's the that's the first step there. Step one. Yep. Edible painting. Oh, here comes the second one. It's going yeah, to here. announce it. I'll pass it out. I can hold that. You want me to get a picture of it? Or? Yeah, I'm, I think we're good. All right. Uh, this way, uh, I uh, found few um, 
pull to your magnolia, you know magnolia? And it's quite nice, it's eatable. So we don't have to have magnolia now, because uh, I wanted to take it in a year, but uh, I don't know where to find it now, because I'm in New York, so my dream is to eat magnolia, and uh, I will uh, give, you, uh, give it to you. Uh, but um, here is a written that the dish going to be with two feet, but I tried to bring it here one uh, big or white uh, piece, but it, it didn't happen. So I, uh, I bought part of I took some small, uh, small sour cream, but sour cream like uh, in the bread, it's a bit different. Uh, and uh, I have some blueberries with the, um, with the chili uh, and uh, a bit of Ukrainian spice, like wild oregano. It's like uh, some nice combination. So you will have now parsley with smoked uh, sour cream with magnolia, uh, which is pickled uh, in uh, just normal with vinegar, and uh, uh, blueberry uh, jam with uh, chili and uh, a bit of wild oregano. And everything that uh, is uh, grown in Ukraine, and uh, we, like you, 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 you may think that all Ukrainians eat uh, all the stuff uh, which are grown around. No, it's only me. Usual <laughs> people eat uh, normal food. Uh, but uh, I want you to show that uh, our food can be, uh, can be something new. So, uh, uh, let's go next and uh, try for some first. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and then we have one. And I will, let, uh, let, uh, I will tell you about Ukraine at the Okay, so enjoy. Yeah. Thank you. So what did he say? He said like that he doesn't want us to think that that's all people in Ukraine is roaming around yes. eating these crazy food. <laughs> so you, they usually eat regular food. Yes. But. So that was fun. Yeah, extra good. All right. So oh, let me zoom out. Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry, I zoomed in. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're ready for guys. course two. Yep. Do. Dos. Yep. Hey, yeah, he's a, a character. Does I anybody see. know Ukraine? Like, what? What's no, number two in Ukrainian? Yeah. Hit us with the dobre then. Yes. With the gen dobre. <laughs> that's about as far as we get. That's not even right, I imagine. That's that's Polish, I think. Yeah, that's Polish. But you know, hey, hey. So number two, course two, is he said it's written as red and white beets, but that's not what we're getting. No, because he couldn't find them. Couldn't find it. So we're getting something I heard, toasted sour cream or something. And parsley and something else. Parsley, right. I heard. And Diva, Diva is number two. Diva. D-V-A. Oh. Thanks, Dean. Thank you. Yeah, Debbie, this is fun in here. <laughs> we have It's a seven-course thing. And I'm glad I wore a sweater because it's a, they have it like the air conditioning very yeah, yeah, um, right? strong in here. Yep. Oh, here it comes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. That looks no, very interesting. Yep. Sorry. Here we go, James. Get ready. Oh, nice. wow. Very nice. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Wait, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta like turn it around. Oh, don't for turn everyone. me loose on asking for extra cranberry bread. I would have had a loaf of that right there. Pronounced Dua is number two. Thanks, Bluesy Blogs. Oh, the largest tank battle of World War II took place in Ukraine. Hey, James, why don't you, where's the, um, Drum yes. Do over there? No, 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 I'm going to get, I'm going to get. Well, that would be easier, right? No, why? Then I can get up. Yeah. Which one do you think will photograph better? I think this one. Yeah. Let me move, move that, that one out. Well, this out has of the way. more green. Yeah, that looks nice. Guys, we're, we're really curious here. Kursk. Ah, oh, this, this is great. White quer carrot with sour cream. That's a good guess. Thanks, Mark. Look. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. Someone asked, "Where'd you get your ring from? Your rings?" Oh, I'm gonna. I'll talk about that in one second. Yeah. Because that's a, that's a very easy answer. Wait, back that up so I yeah. can put the. Yeah. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot, big difference from uh, the other night, right? Someone saying from uh, Nathan's. Someone's saying parsnip. Edwin, I have no idea. Oh, parsnip? Yeah, that's what someone said. See, yeah, wanna... Christian, this looks great. <laughs> yeah, Caroline in. I'm, I'm, I'm in the car seat. I'm with you. I uh, think I'm going to go this way, too, because yeah. then you can see it's a root. Yeah. Oh, this is it. This is it. Yeah, that's cool. 
Yep, Carla's getting her picture. Oh, am I making shadows? No, oh, look yeah, at that. That's cool. All right, guys, Very this cool. is the, to me, right. this is the shot. Okay, now we're ready. I'm looking over at our neighbor. He's eating it with a knife and fork, so that's what I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to know what to do, right? Yeah, I'm looking at what to do here. All right, so I'll, should I go first? Yeah, you go first. So I'm, All right, here we go. I'm patient. Here we go. I'm going to slice into it. Yeah, B.A., right? The potatoes and... And then I'm going to do a little potatoes. sour cream and then a little... It's alive, Paul's saying. No, oh, yeah, what is it? Mmm. Yeah, exactly, Mark. Mmm. Extra good. It's, um, you know, a tuber. Yeah, it's a tuber. A root of some sort. I didn't hear nice. what he said. Nice. You know, it's like a like a carrot, like a <laughs> like a carrot. A leek. Someone said question mark. Tastes carrot like. Oh, Here. Christian said Ian is coming in a few days. Be on the lookout. Oh, can't wait. With gifts for Hudson. Here, let me um, let me show it, and you have yours. All right. All right. Hold on, guys. All I'm right. Let's go into this here. I'm so going there in. There we go. And then I put a little sour cream. You have sour cream. And then I put the um, berry. Berry. Here it's we go. a parsnip. I think it is a parsnip. Oh, yeah. Right? A parsnip. Yeah. I think you're absolutely right. Or a carrot. It just yeah, and I see where the sour cream is like smoked. Yes. Oh, yeah, guys. Don't be scared of this. A this is good. A parsnip. You know what? I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. You tell me what you think. Mm. Mm. B.A. says definitely a parsnip. All right. Is parsnip. it on the menu? No, it's a substitution. It was originally, the menu says, let me show you guys, white and red beets with moss and dill seeds. But he said Here, let me show he you could eat. not get red, red, white and red beets. Here, give it to me. I'll show you can eat. Hold on, guys. We're, we're switching around. Yep. I think it is a parsnip. Yeah, that's what I think, Kim. If Kim, Kim's describing them as pale yellow carrots, so that would be it. Mm. It's nice. How about that cream? The, the, the sour cream? Yeah, it's smoked. Right. It has a smoky flavor with the dill. And then the little berries. Is it really like a compote? It's yeah. extra good. Someone's asking, does it taste more like a, um, a uh, turnip or a carrot? Um, I don't know. A turn more like a turnip because yeah. the carrot it has more taste like but it could be a really bland carrot yeah but it's the sour cream with that taste just the root here come here yeah mark don't don't dip it in the sour cream just have this yeah let me just have that like. end yeah see carlos give me this here give me a fork and then tell me what you think when you don't have it with the sour cream so that yeah. way you'll know Right. More like turnip, I would guess. Turnip, right? More like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it. Extra good, guys. Yeah, this is nice. But I love it with the sour cream and the and the berry. Yeah, real nice. When you mix the sour cream and the berry. Oh, yeah. here, I'll take that. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. That's the way to eat it, though. Yeah. Just to dip it in that See, delicious sour cream. You go cream into the, the sour berry. cream. You go into the berry. Mm -hmm. You go into the berry. Get a generous helping of both. Yeah. Look, I had all my berry. I really like the berry. Yeah. Yeah, tur turnip is awesome, Bob. This is nice because it's like a grilled. Oh. Really great. Yeah, the smoked sour okay. cream, Myrna. Did you hear whether this was a turnip? No. We're trying, parsnip. Or pars parsnip. Parsnip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parsnip. parsnip. Definitely. So you got, you got. No, no, they were saying did it taste like it. Right. Right. A yeah. turnip looks totally different. Right. Here, take that for a sec. I don't want to fall behind, right? All right, hold on, guys. I got to turn this, I turned this bad boy around. Let Jim James eat in peace. He's attacking his parsnip. He's dicing it, slicing it. Yes, they do have a sweetness of their own. Yes. And then when you added the 
the sour cream and the um, the berry compote. Yeah. It was extra, extra, extra good. Real nice. Everyone loved it. Everyone's everyone ate it all. They're tucking right into it. Oh, the chestnut field mask says I want to drink sake seen in the flower box. Oh, nice of you to work for us through dinner. Extra good. Jack Rab saying yes. Yeah, we wanted to bring you this because this is like it's just a special sort of live stream. You know, I think I can even eat this um, petal. Should I eat the petal? I think it's an edible flower. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it, guys. I'm gonna eat this flower. Oh yeah. Guys, I ate it. <laughs> I, I, if I wasn't supposed to, then it's too late. No turning back. I ate the flower. Mm. Oh, I want to show you something, guys. On the wall is a picture of Vladimir Domerschel. He's the founder of the restaurant, and that's his German Shepherd. I'm going to go over there and show you in a second. I'm going to just show you up on the wall. Can you see that, guys? Right? There. That's the founder. That's Vladimir Garmichel. Hold on. And that's his German Shepherd. <laughs> so that's that's the scene at the restaurant. Hold on. They changed the artwork. Yeah, I think they gave it a little refresher. You know, that's the nice thing about Baselka. Oh yeah, I got it. You want me to get those? Yeah, you can have them. No, no, you have it. No, I'm good. I'm finishing up James's berry. Look at that. I like the berry. Yeah, Mark, right? Mark's saying this is so unfamiliar. James, this one's for you. Yeah, big talk pot. We'll get the extra extra good t-shirts, all that stuff. Oh, Even with yeah. Hudson. We're on it. Yeah, EW, we thought you'd like to come along, you guys. We're glad to have you. Patrick Richardson's partner used to cook Finnish pastries. I imagine those were kind of Ooh. strange. Kind of different, right? Every time I go, like the first two things I went into, Right. They tasted completely different to what my eyes said. Right now, the next totally up on different the, guys. Guess what's coming up? Honeybees, guys. Honeybees. In that, yeah, sorrel. Yep. That ought to be interesting. Oh, and I want to tell you something, guys. We ordered, and it should be coming soon from our from our um, B and H. A, a splitter so what way we could charge our iPhones and have our microphones plugged in at the same time. Right. But we don't have it yet. Tomorrow it should arrive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, roasted root vegetables are great. So I, I, I can honestly say that I've never had um, hard oh, snip like that the, before. The, the, yep, oh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, the rings. They want the. Oh, right, the rings. So, this ring, I have Jim, you know, for James, just because it was shorter. And then he has Carla. Carla. These were made by a local, and, and he was actually down the block from here on East 9th Street. I mean, his name is um, Greg um, wait, Wolf. Wolf. And he had his own silver jewelry store on East 9th Street. And this is from him as well, Greg Wolf. This ring and that ring. And I have a lot of other silver jewelry. Um, this wasn't. I forget where I got this. This is a really, really old. And these two, two rings are from Greg Wolf. Sadly, they raised his rent, and he not on East 9th Street yeah, he's anymore. He's in Florida now. Yeah, he moved to he moved to Florida. Oh, wait! Oh. No, ready for another course? There we go. All right, guys, we'll check back in a second. So, what about the more that you can know? But in Ukraine, we usually use all the time we use spices like cinnamon, ginger, everything. What else? 
was uh, what is it? Uh, Robin not in Ukraine. And for me, it was like some uh, kind of strange thing. Why, why people all around Ukraine in death, but uh, not Robin in Ukraine? So I went, uh, uh, I, I opened some few books and I started to read. Uh, and I found that uh, in Ukraine there is one, one very nice tradition. We took everything that grows near us, put in vodka, wait for uh, two weeks, and then drink like, uh, oh my god, it's pure ourselves. <laughs> I don't know how technique it's uh, called, uh, maybe drink too much technique, uh, I don't know. So I was thinking, uh, then I went to India, and I saw that people eat everything. Uh, okay, this one's something uh, special, something nice, I will put it in the food. Okay, and uh, like uh, a, a lot of spices uh, so, uh, exist now in uh, India. And I was thinking, uh, okay, let's try to do the same in Ukraine. So uh, in my food, you will not find the uh, parmesan, you will not find um, no, 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 no sauce, no ginger, nothing, because I want to put uh, some new and uh, very extraordinary uh, tastes in my dish. So uh, once I found that uh, in Ukraine uh, there is a, not tradition, but uh, the same. We put something in vodka and drink. And I, I found, uh, I found out that uh, uh, a lot of people who have the pipes with the bees, what they do actually, they are opening the pipes in the springtime, uh, and they see there are a lot of uh, um, honey elements such as propolis, uh, such as uh, different uh, stuff, which I don't know how in English. Uh, and then they uh, took from the house uh, dead bees. Actually, bees are living for uh, four months, and uh, that's all. And when they are dying, other bees ferment them, so they become medicine. And in Ukraine, guys, they put this in the vodka and drink the pure other stuff. <laughs> I was thinking, a very nice and good idea, but I don't want to put it in vodka. So I took out from both of these bees, and I put uh, this piece in uh, my dishes. So it's like a very nice thing, not just to throw away the, the bees, we can eat and we can, uh, we can uh, uh, cure ourselves. So uh, I took the sorrel, and uh, then I took uh, some bees, I took uh, some uh, olive oil, some not olive, some flower oil, but uh, it's very aromatic. Uh, I put uh, some fennel, fennel leaves, and uh, we have some uh, sauce for the sorrel, and then uh, a lot of Ukrainians eat bath. Buckwheat is like uh, in our way. If you will kill me, you will see that I'm 95% uh, from buckwheat. Uh, so uh, I make a popcorn from buck uh, with this buckwheat. And now you will, uh, you will uh, have sorrel with the sauce of uh, beans and uh, uh, some uh, popcorn of buckwheat, some foam uh, from the milk, and uh, you will uh, find one piece of uh, just uh, this and uh, one piece of one slice of uh, smoked uh, wild uh, uh, beer. So, so you can eat everything and uh, it's good, you will be healthier, I hope you will. Thank you. Thank you. So I think we're getting bees. Yes, this is definitely what we're getting is the what what was listed on the menu. So let me put oh, my mic back on. Oh, choy boy brale. So definitely nice, honey bees. Nice, my heart, my home. You got it, Bob. Populous and sorrel, extra yeah. good. I can't wait. I've never eaten a honey bee. I got <laughs> stung by a bee once. Yeah. <laughs> Not good because right. I'm highly allergic. Actually, I blow up like 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 forget about it. Right. You warm enough? Yeah, I'm glad I have my sweater on. Yeah, yeah, because it's... It's very air-conditioned in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, PA, it's a special event they're having. Yes, it's a special event. The Selka and the Ukrainian... Oh, watch it, huh? Oh. Oh. Oh, here it is. Oh, wow. Oh, man, it smells delicious. Ah. Wow, you can smell it. You see the bees? Wait, Jimmy, yeah, on mine, you can, you can, let, let me Here. show show mine. Here. You can really see the bees on mine. See the wing? Yeah, I see it. You see the little wing guys? Yeah. Don't eat it, Carlos. Yeah. I'm going to eat it, yeah, uh, but I want to take a photo first. Yeah, it looks like a work hour, right, Big Dog Pound? Yours is... Um, Mine's prettier. Yeah. Oh, it smells good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna turn it like this. Yeah. Just back that up. Yep. <laughs> Is this fear factor? Where's Joe Rogan? Someone saying. Yeah, very balanced layer. You got it, CBRT. 2070. So far, everything's been delicious. I got it. I kind of, you know, I can't. Um... And then when one more. Uh, 
CM10. Yep. I got it. Here, move mine across. See, the problem is, is that wherever I stand, I get a shadow. There you go. That's extra good right there. <laughs> Patrick. I'm very particular. What is that phone? Someone's asking. I'm not sure. Eat them before they breathe. Okay. That oh, no, looks perfect. All right, here we go. All right, so should I go first, James? You'll, you you'll... go first. Look, in the leaves have things in them. Oh, See, really? If you open up the leaf, there's oh. things in there. Oh, that must be the sorrel. <laughs> All right, so what should I eat first? I'll, oh. I'll, I'll eat the, I'll eat, I'll Joseph, eat this. Joseph, we have no idea. I'm going for this. <laughs> yeah. You ready, guys? Yeah, here we go. Does Carla have an EpiPen? Mm. <laughs> mm. What's this here? This stuff. I don't know. It's very woodsy. Okay. It tastes woodsy. Does a that sorrel. Make sense? I think that's a sorrel. And I ate the bees. Yep. Here's the bees. I'm trying to get a bee in there. All right, but I'm, I'm going to wait to eat this until you eat yours. Oh no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So I'm going to just kind of fold it up and eat the whole thing. Want to, well, should I do that? Yeah. All right, ready? The foam and all. I'm, I'm just going to make it like a little tent out of it. The foam is honey milk foam. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh, I love it. I love, love, love it. Extra, extra good, guys. What is this now? You just, the whole McGilly, you just pick just, it up. You just have to eat it. All right. Here we go, guys. Oh, Joan, Carlos Sweater, those are skulls. Those are skulls. A couple people have asked. Right, and this is um, from the Missing Foundation. This is um, yeah, the band in our, uh, East Village. Our friend Peter Missing. Yep. And All right, so now gonna, I'm gonna I'm going in with this the foam, the filling, the whole bit. Here we go, guys. And then you show me, show mine. I'm gonna yep. put some bees on top of it. I'm gonna go oh, crazy. No. Ready? Yeah. I'm putting the bees in there. All right, you ready, guys? And I'm gonna fold up the whole thing. No, I don't know about that. Oh, I, I liked it. I ate everything. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm game for anything. So here we go. Yeah, Chesterfield Max, you got it. All right. This is too big, though. I have to cut it in pieces. Ready? Here we go. I'm, I'm just going to eat it. Wow. It's not for everyone. It's very woodsy. Yeah. Woodsy. Wouldn't you say woodsy? Yeah. But I mean, I don't think I would order it again. Mm. Guys, I'm not a fan of that one. You know, I'm going to be honest, or else the whole thing loses credibility. So it's right out the window. Everything can't be my favorite. I like that thing. I didn't like No, it. those are cool. These, These are like. cool. This I'm not feeling at all. This thing. But it wasn't the leaf, it's the stuff that's inside. Yeah, it. oh. Bitter, a little bitter. bitter. Very bitter. This tasted woodsy again. Like smoked. This I liked, I'll eat this again. Yeah. Here, yeah, I'll, I'll just pick it up. This thing is great. Yeah, how did you know I was about? See? Yeah, you're gonna fee see me furtively around the corner unwrapping my hamburger later <laughs> off camera Carla's going to be panning around saying how great everything was and then there's going to be a quick little shot of Jim over in the corner you're going to miss him no we'll be getting we'll be getting short rib pierogies is what we'll be getting <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay yeah the that was it for me guys I didn't the like only that. problem guys is I feel like I have honeybees stuck in my teeth yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, that was, I wasn't into that one. 
Jack Rapp says it's like tripping and falling over in the forest and getting a mouthful. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, not even. I'm you sorry. know what, guys? Yeah, Jack, that might have been a little better. I feel like this is like survival camp, right? Yeah. That. No, I'm going into it open. Right. That, I've eaten everything put in front right. of me. What if you were? What if we were stuck in the wilderness? Right. And and this was all there was to eat. You would eat it. You would. Right. It wasn't that bad. Right. You you would might not like it. That was it. my least favorite of the night. Was this right here? Right. But it was the stuff that it was this stuff. Yeah. It might have been the sorrel. I don't know. Yeah. Or is this a sorrel? No, that's a sorrel. I believe that's like a mushroom. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh take your fork. Oh, fork. grab my fork. Thank you. See, I know the drill already. James just needed a little prompting. Yeah. 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 Oh, that might be the millet that you didn't like. Yeah, no, no, no was, propolis. Maybe that was yeah, the maybe propolis. Yeah, maybe that was the propolis. Guys, if any of you guys at home Google propolis. Is it that brown stuff that was wrapped inside the green? Yeah, don't tell me what it is, guys, please. Because the sorrel was the leaf. Yeah. Right? The leaf is sorrel. Right. Isn't the sorrel the green? I think so, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah, Robert's got the right idea. You'll see me over in the corner, kind of bashfully in the corner, having a cheeseburger later, around the corner outside. But no, this has been good so far. That was the first misstep. Yeah, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, you know, it wouldn't be first on my list to order. Yes, the leaf was sorrel, someone said. Yeah. Yes, Myrna, thanks. Sorrel is the leaf. So the sorrel. Yeah. See, that was the sorrel. That is the foam. Beef. And then that yeah. is the... Um, yeah, Patrick Richardson. That would have helped, maybe, on that last one. Oh, propolis is a bitter crunchy. Propolis. Oh, that, that was this. No, I think it was the thing in there. Hey, oh, Marion. Oh, sorry you didn't get a notification, Marion. We are streaming tonight. She's a little late popping in. Oh, that's okay. Well, propolis exits in beehives, which is good for your health. So, if anything, uh, we're getting healthy tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Sorrel's a mushroom, that's what I thought be yeah. like. But uh so far we're uh we're on the third thing. It oh. was two two for three. So now next is borscht. Yeah. Everyone I mean we both had borscht, so yeah. that's safe. <laughs> Carly didn't mind it. The last one was a swing and a miss for me. Yeah, you know, we have to be honest, right? Yeah. We have to be honest. Carla didn't mind it. Yeah, Marion, we're staying healthy in here. <laughs> the food is very uh, light and, and earthy. Oh, yeah, very I earthy. Mean, yeah, yeah, very. Right? Not a frying pan in sight yet. <laughs> no. Right. Uh oh, Bonnie oh. Bodine saying Carla's cheeks look like they're beginning to swell. You know, because of the bees. <laughs> Sour cherry infused vodka. It's very light. It's oh, very thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Here, hon. Mm. Thanks, Paul. Here, they want to hear. They want to hear. Oh. Take that. But I don't like white pairing, actually. I like the uh, different pairings. So now you have some, uh, uh, in, uh, what can you do to the cherry? It's very, it's not as strong, it's just so nice. Uh, you, you should drink uh, uh, this uh, uh, cherry uh, with, the, with the borscht. But borscht will be a bit changed. Uh, it's not like a normal uh, normal soup. Uh, it will be with the, uh, with the tarragon and the blueberries and the uh, plum, plum jam uh, with combination of uh, 
bread with the soup it's going to come in a minute oh, oh nice. thank you buckwheat bread for That's the soup for the soup so hold on guys first we want to show you this is <laughs> very light it's vodka with cherries the cherries are inside the vodka so i think i have to take a picture of that too all right well i think i'll wait for the soup someone said this whole thing must have been your idea not mine <laughs> yeah well <laughs> listen Oh, Mark. Someone was saying that this is to get the bees out of your teeth. <laughs> to wash the bees down. Right. They have, they're giving us this. So, I think it looks great. Yeah, Maybe really I should cute. just photograph it just the way it is without yeah. the... Yeah. So let me get a photo of that before the soup comes because yeah, the borscht is, the is the on its way. For the special soup coming. That is a cherry rob. No, it's not a rob roy. No, it's a it's vodka. It's vodka. Vodka infused cherries. Okay, hold on. I want this out of the way. It's like a prison. <laughs> what are you? What are they saying? It's like a prison visit for some of us. Huh. Oh, that actually looks, yeah, that really, looks really pretty. pretty. Look, see guys, I blurred out the background, yeah. and I just went really right. Shallow F. Right, I went to here, a little shallow. Move, here, move this. Do it again. Sorry, guys. I think that's like the ultimate, you know, like a, uh, you know. Cocktail. Yeah, you go first. Chris. Extravaganza. Someone's asking what the cost of this is. No, this is a special event. Right. This is where we're guests. We're yep. guests tonight. The other day we're over at Nathan's, Coney Island. That's right. And I was trying this. This looks fantastic. Oh. Ah. So then they had to pour the soup. You know, they pour the soup into it. Oh, gotcha. This is They're this is our pour sour. Soup in here. Yes, this is the sour cream. Gotcha. Yeah, Gary, this is one fantastic. Vaselka is a fantastic place on a regular night, right, hun? Extra good. I'm trying to. I'm going to reset the gimbal. There we go. This is the borscht coming up. Right, and then this is the bread that we're going to have with the borscht. But everything tonight has been a little different. Oh, the cherry thing's nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just had some of the cherry uh, vodka. infused. Yep. Cherry nice. infused vodka. Nice. That's nice. This is where the soup is going to go. Looks like cookies from egg white. It's just like a dollop of um, sour cream. Oh, look, it's a, it's a, um, oh, they said a, meringue like. A blueberry. Oh, it's a blueberry. Wow. Yeah, Mark keeps joking that all I say all night is, you go ahead, Carla. <laughs> yeah, hello. Oh, look. Please be careful. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, I got to get a photo of that going in. Enjoy. Thank you. Nice. Oh my God, it looks so beautiful, guys. So wait, 
this requires the ultimate. It's super <laughs> hot. Yeah, it's dense. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta get 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 rid of this. Yep, you got it. Yeah, get these three together. That looks nice. Nice. Let's put it all together. Yeah, right, Tanny. There we go. That looks nice. Don't make them even. Here. I'm gonna tilt that one a little bit. Yeah, move that. Move all this. Yeah, move out all of the that way. crap out of the way. <laughs> crap. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Paul's making us laugh, PA. Yeah, this looks good. <laughs> oh my God. Soup. Oh, yeah, I can't little, wait to have it. Wait, one more. pepper on top with saltines. The tomato soup days. One Being more. Being home from school, watching prices Right. Having some tomato soup, not feeling too well. Hey, James, just. Yeah, they're saying I switched glasses on. All right, hold on. Sorry, guys, I'm a perfectionist. Yep, you're doing great. And then one more, and just this. Yep. Yeah. Right, you see the steam coming off it, guys? Look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah Extra yeah. good. Okay, Extra I can't good. wait to have it. Yeah. Look at the right. steam coming off. All right, you're going to get me first? Dip, dip the bread, someone's saying. Dip the bread. Okay. Oh my God, it's so delicious, guys. Yep. Oh, wait till you have it. Son Jim understands. He's holding the bread. And you gotta get some cow cream in there. That's just Carla's saying. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh my God. He gads, guys. Now I'm just gonna go for a hearty spoonful. Wait, James. All right. Look how nice and, do you see the consistency, guys? Yeah. See, it's, it's nice and thick. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. man, so good, so oh, the fragrant. Bread is nice too. Yeah, but it's so fragrant. I oh. know. Mm. Oh, I love it so much. Mm. This is my favorite thing so far. Yeah, this is a, this is a good one. Oh, and yeah. get, a, get a nice dollop of sour cream in there too. Yeah, I did. Oh. Yeah, really nice. I took a little. You can mix the sour cream. Should we mix the sour cream around in it? I kind of like taking a dollop in it. Yeah. I know some people probably mix it in there, but I, I like it. I cautiously went into this one, and now I'm getting big spoonfuls and just shoveling it down. And then, and then save here. I'm gonna save some for the. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a little. Here. Yeah. Do you see that, guys? Yeah. I'm gonna get a, a healthy dip of bread again. Look. Look at that, guys. Do you see it smoking? Oh, yeah, steaming. Yeah. Yeah, Myrna thought I was on the broccoli diet. No, this stuff has been healthy tonight. Mm, that's so delicious. People were joking earlier, Marion, about me getting a hamburger afterwards. Oh, I just ate a blueberry. Nice. The blueberries tasted extra good. Jimmy, there's a blueberry right there. Look. Yeah, you got to get the blueberry in it. All right. Go find uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. There it is. It tastes so good when you have it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, man. It's yeah, extra Mark, good. don't tell me that, Mark. What's that? Oh, no. What was in the sorrel? Oh, no. Don't 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 expound for James. Yeah. He'll be nervous. I'm gonna dip my bread in it again. Honey, have the bread. Look at that, guys. I am. I'm saving some for you. Oh, someone's saying a sliced up egg would be nice in there too. And oh, Bon Bon's so a vegetarian, good. so she's loving all this. It's so good, guys. Yeah. Extra, extra, extra good. Marion's saying if it has legs on it, it's not a blueberry. 
James, before I eat it all, can you get a picture of me? Yeah. I'll hold this and the soup before I eat it all. Yeah. I'm going green. All right. Wait. Hold on. Yeah, move before that I over. before I eat it all. Yep. Oh, hang on. Wait. Get rid of this plate. That's good. There we go. No. No. One more. Okay. Make sure you're good. There we go. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yep. It looks great. Perfect, James. Thank you. Soup's good, guys. Borscht. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah, we can't forget about Hutch and Wayne. Good call. We didn't forget about him. Maybe we'll bring in a little piece of this. No, no, I, I'm going to get, I'm going to get short rib pierogi for him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a cooked beef puree, Murda, exactly. Mm -hmm. Do you know, in case you're just joining in, guys, we're at Veselka. No beef. Veselka. That's where we are, guys. No. Yep. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's nice. Thanks, Sunshine. He's having dinner along with us. So good, guys. Right, Jack? You can do it in the, in the comfort of your home. Anytime we go anywhere without Hudson, like I was saying earlier, Carla has to drag me out by the collar. I know. It's fun. No, he's just like, oh, maybe you can just go. And I'm like, no, no, you have to come with me. Yep. Oh, Carla's going for it over there. I'm, I loved it. Yeah. It's my, it is my favorite. Yeah, the bears, right? Marna saying bears eat honey. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I think it's a special. I don't think it's sour though, is it? Uh, buckwheat. This is buckwheat. Buckwheat bread. Buckwheat. Buckwheat so bread. Now, Good question, guys. Look, and now I'm gonna just see. I'm gonna soak up my end of it here. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Let me have some vodka, guys. Yep. You can really taste the um, the cherries in it. Extra yeah. good. Extra good. Everything so far tonight, except for the one misstep. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Carla well, didn't mind it. I mean, I wouldn't order it again. Put it that way. Yeah. But this is good right here. But look at I'm leaving shit for James. This is speaking to me. Mm. Notice, guys. I saved all this bread just to give to James. Yeah. That's a smart move. Are you good? Can you can hold it? You're all right? Here you are. No, no, you have it. James, you have it. With the bread. Yeah. I'm gonna pan around. Show you show the scene. The bread is the best part, PK. Yeah, it was really and they break they bake all the bread here as well. I mean everything that they're serving here is made on the premises. Their kielbasa that they serve here is made across the street. There's a, a place called the East Village Meat Market. It was owned by Julian Basinski, um, a Ukrainian immigrant, founded this meat market, and he makes um, all his. He has smokes his own hams and meats, oh, and yeah. makes his own kielbasa right across the street, and they serve it here at the restaurant. So that's it. Would be the only thing that they serve at this restaurant that hasn't actually made here because they've had a partnership with the East Village Meat Market 
for like um, 60 years now. And Julian Basinski, sadly, he just passed away, but one of the guests of honor here, he's sitting, he's sitting across the way there, is uh, Andrew Milnicki. And Andrew started working for Mr. Basinski. Oh, thank you, it was lovely. Um, started working for Mr. Um, Basinski. Oh, thank you. Here, I'll bring this one out. Started working for um, Mr. Basinski and learned, you know, how to how to make the homemade kielbasa and the other sausages that they have and, and everything like that. Oh, look, James left me a little bit of soup because he knew I liked the soup so much. Yep. I'm going to polish it off for James. Yeah, kielbasa is the best. Yep. Yeah, that was good. Extra good. Yep. Hundred percent honest. That was great. Best borscht Loved it. ever. Buckwheat bread, fantastic. Borscht was crazy good. Thick, like people were saying, they haven't seen it that thick. Really nice thick. Thick, yeah. Real nice. And fragrant. Yeah, awesome. You didn't like it, I see. We loved it. <laughs> yeah, he knows. <laughs> yeah. Yep. See, the owner said, oh, you really liked it. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, extra Yeah, Myrna good. says that borscht almost has no calories. <laughs> Except the sour cream, but hey. Oh, there you go. Yep. Yep, Jim was... But it was just a dollop of yeah. sour cream. Jim noticed the sour cream right away. Went in after that right away. <laughs> I liked it just even without the sour cream. That's how good yes, it is. It was. It was. Like the sour cream was nice, but you didn't need the sour cream. The, like the soup was just good, just on yeah. its own. Yeah, Tanny's loving learning about dishes from other countries, right? Yeah, that's a, that's the whole purpose of tonight. It's yeah. to raise awareness of traditional Ukrainian food that people might not be familiar with. Right. And everything's been super healthy too. Nice. Yeah, she'll love it, Chesterfield Nut. What if I can use it? Yeah, get your put your mask up. Yeah. Alright, so this is our this is our little scene. You see, I'm gonna show you. James just got up to um, go wash his hands. We'll, we'll call it. There's a little bench that we're the line up. Oh, okay. James is coming back. Yeah. There's a there's a line for the Yeah. yeah. For the laboratory. It'll be fine in a minute or two. Yeah. Yeah, we were in Poland once, and it was pouring rain. In Krakow. And we went into this little hole in the wall, and it was a babushka in there with a stove. Right. And she made us borscht. She just she was sitting in there watching TV. Right. Like it was her living room. Right. There was no menu or anything. Nothing. And she said, I get. You know, that's all. I right. get. I get. Right. Yep. And she brought out this borscht, and it was delicious. It was pouring rain. Never hot. forget it. And it was so piping hot, it warmed right. us right up. Right. Someone wants to know where we're headed next on the menu. Oh, okay. Here we go. After borscht comes the millet and gooseneck and apples with parsley. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Yeah, one thing in there bothers me a little bit, but we'll see. Hey, Jonathan Paul. Game. Yeah, game. Now this one, I Millet. know what this is. Vereshaka yeah. is a stew. There it's definitely is a, stew. a stew. It's a Ukrainian stew. It's like their national dish. Right. And then with more buckwheat bread. Oh, nice. So you'll like that. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm into that. Yep. If anybody hasn't seen it, oh, what is millet? Someone's asking. Um, good question. Right. Um. Uh, I'm not really sure. No. <laughs> I, can't, I cannot say I've never had it before. Yeah, Sarah. It sounds very earthy. Oh, Gary's saying gooseneck is tasty. What and is someone's it? saying millet's like a grain. Oh, like a buckwheat. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to take some bread home, Annie Pig. Oh, definitely. It's a grain. Bird seed, someone's saying. Like oh. a bird seed. And what's gooseneck? Is that a seed also? Yeah, I don't know. It might be the name of the seed, though. Guys, we were over in London once, and someone mentioned bubble and squeak. Oh, nice. It's kvass. It's a wheat, a wheat, a wheat drink. Oh. 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 All right. This goes with the next dish, so we don't have oh, it yet. Oh, we don't drink it yet. 
Okay. Yeah, listen to the instructions, James. Buckwheat is related to soil. But we heard about, uh, we're in the UK, right? Bubble and squeak. Bubble and squeak. In May, and I, I got so scared. I'm like, what? They're oh, like, no. oh, next we're going to have bubble and squeak. And I just right. panicked. I didn't know what the right. heck that was. Right, because you were thinking that it was like uh, sheep just something, or something, something like just that. Just something got awful. Yeah. Just something terrible. Right. Yeah, exactly, Sarah. It ended up being really nice. Yeah. <laughs> it ended up being really I nice. I don't remember what it was. But just that name. And now... And I just, for some reason, gooseneck is bothering me a little bit, but we'll see. But I think it's a seed. Yeah, exactly. Like millet. Yeah, Paul McDonough eats bubble and squeak, says he worked, he worked out fine eating bubble and squeak. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it was fine. It was fine. No, Veselka's not open, Robert, 24 hours. Not now, because because of the indoor dining. Indoor dining is only at 50%, and they don't allow um, restaurants to stay open late either. Right. There's a, like a curfew for restaurants. Exactly. Millet is a Roman green. Far more nutritious than wheat. Thank you, Myrna. Ah. That's Myrna doing an excellent job. Yeah, and in fact, somebody nice else job, said Myrna. that the propolis is extremely expensive. The thing oh. that you didn't like. Oh. They said it was super expensive. Gotcha. Okay. So, so that just shows you something. <laughs> that just shows something about me. Well, you like poor man's food. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hamburger. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hot dog. Yeah, slice of pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Carla keeps Jane in check. Oh, here you oh. go, huh? Carla, I'm going to see if I can, um, just, I'm going to see if I can duck behind you. I got it. what we're having next. Yeah, what's going on here? What okay. am I in for? Okay. So, it's just like he said, millet is a seed. Okay. 
and he mixed that. It, it's the meat from a goose's neck. Okay. So it's like eating like chicken, but it's from a goose. But he took it. It's from the neck. He says it's very difficult to get any meat from the neck, but that's part of the process, I guess. Gotcha. So it's like a little farm to tail. Nice. I mean, head to tail, you know, the nose yeah. to tail. Nose eating. to tail kind so of stuff. So you eat every part of it. Yeah. Do we have so, a... The hand sanitizer is on here. Gotcha. But what can you not have that right now? Yeah. yeah. So let me explain <laughs> that. And then with apples and parsley. Gotcha. So it's just like basically... Chicken. Like you're not eating like bones or anything like that. Right. It's just taking the meat but taken from the, the neck of the goose. Gotcha. All okay, right. so let me get you the uh, hand sanitizer. So yep. hold on. Yeah. Yeah, hey, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, hey. Gotta hang a sheet, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrong, getting hands yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, now they, <laughs> now they got us. They caught us. <laughs> I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our neighbors. So this is what our neighbors happened. saw Carla going under the table this for the is, hand right, sanitizer. This is, what, this is what happened, guys. I have the hand sanitizer yeah. attached to like the outer strap of our camera bag. Yeah, Carl's the camera under bag the... is underneath Jimmy's legs. He's sitting on a bench and the, the bag is tucked underneath his legs. So right. I went crawling underneath Sorry. the table. No, no, you use a salad with a little top meat. Is that okay? Ooh, that's perfect. Are you okay with meat, sir? Yes, we're, yes. we're meat lovers. Yeah, no, we're <laughs> Nice. So here's your hand sanitizer before we get All right, yeah, started. Before I go deep into this here. And I'm going to have to take a picture of this, James. <laughs> CB Earth Day saying we don't buy it. <laughs> here, hold that a sec. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so that's, that's... This sanitizer it smells god-awful, guys. Right, so that's, that's the whole... This hand sanitizer. So now I mean, I'm going to show you our next course here. Yeah. I'm going to get up close and personal with it. <laughs> Actually, this is a really good angle. No, does Bonnie um, Bodine say James doesn't sound too excited about this next one? No, I'm a little nervous. He's a little nervous. So what I'm going to do is I'll have it first. A little nervous. And then James will have it. Yeah, let me get a picture of. Uh, you want to take a shot? I'm going to take a pro. I, I think I'm liking it right here, actually. Yeah. So hold yeah. on, because this looks so pretty. Yeah, I, I got to tell you. Now, wait a minute. I want to get it like. Yeah, I know. I love the films. I mean, and see, this hand sanitizer just smells. Yeah. It's not, not. It's no bueno. You will like it, Gary's saying. Okay, I'm going in brave. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going to go in on. brave. Yeah, I'll make believe it's a burger. You got it. Tuck it in between two two pieces of bun. Jimmy, we're trying to make it, you know, neater over here. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, Mark's asking, what is this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the menu in a second. I'm getting a picture, guys. All right, yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm going in, Dean. Dean, if you never hear from me again, you know. Oh, you're going for it? No, I'm gonna wait. All right, hold on. Gonna, you go first. I'm gonna get one more photo. For right. some, uh, oh, yours looks maybe even prettier than mine. Yeah, the way to have it arranged. Maybe both. Yeah, maybe both. There we go, let me get that out of the way. There we go. It looks like an apple dumpling. I only wish, Patrick. I can only wish. So far, everything's been excellent, though. I'm going. I'm going. Oh wait. I oh, Mark is asking, what is this? The beans or chickpeas? It's um, millet and gooseneck with mm. apples and parsley. All right. Hey. You know? And then it's paired with a wheat wheat drink. Okay. It's a souffle with a bad hair day. <laughs> Oh, Sarah, crack me up. Look. Nice. Yeah, that looks nice. Right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, all right. So let's go for it. Okay. And then you have, this is just wheat drink. It's not alcoholic. No, I know. You got it. 
Oh, All right. Stand up in front and bend over to take the picture. So I have to eat this first, James is saying. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah, here we go. We're going to have intent on watching this. I'm going to just, so this is the apple, you can see. Yeah. All right. Oh, I see. It's just little pieces of meat. See? I got it. I'm going to show you the meat. See? Yeah, I see it. All oh, right. God. And I'm going to put it with the apple. Nice. Is it good, though? I like it. I like it. Yeah, I do. Good. It tastes like chicken. All right. It is it good, though? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, maybe more like turkey. Oh, jeez. A little more gamey. Yeah. A little more gamey. Yeah, right, Paul? Honestly, yeah. it tastes really good, though. I'm going to get a hunk of this apple here. Have it with the apple. Yeah, guys, I can't front, you know? Look, see, guys, yeah, look. I got it. Like, James, show it, like, stream in. See, this is the millet. And that, see, see the little brown spot? I see it. I see it. There you go, guys. Guys? James is being adventurous. Going in. What do you think? Not for you? Oh, no. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Oh, dear God. He doesn't like it. It's I, a polenta I, with shredded chicken, yeah. yeah uh, I like it. I like it. Oh, man. <laughs> Have some wheatgrass. Oh, yeah, you kidding me? Oh, thanks, Marion. How's that? Tastes like wheatgrass. Yeah, no. I'm fermented. Yeah, huh? Maybe just some water for you. Yeah, I'm out of the water. Thanks, Ron Hamel. <laughs> I, I like it. I mean, I'll. Oh, I'll yeah. Eat. yeah, Gary, I agree. I'm the more adventurous eater. Yep. For sure. Yep. This is going. Uh, this is going to Hudson, I think. For me. Right. Hudson would enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, I, I like it. Oh, God. James, you know, he'll try anything once at least. Yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> this is hot. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. <laughs> Carly just pulled a, pulled a knife out of the napkin. Yeah, and I'm like, no, 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 I'll eat it. Yeah, cats is after this, right, Paul? <laughs> Looks like shaved fennel, Myrna say. I, 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 I mean, I like it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Yes, yeah, sir. I'm treading water right now. I'm treading water. I'm a bit adrift, I gotta tell you. Listen, when you I saw... I lost my oars. When you saw the, the menu, you didn't think you were gonna like it. No. You know, let's be honest. Yep, that and the fact that I don't have Hudson here. You know, I wasn't that eager. But so far, I've been pleasantly surprised. Everything has been delicious except for, I don't care for this. I didn't care for the little the leaf with the, the, the uh, crap inside. The honeybee propolis and sorrel. Yeah. Yeah, Carla doesn't mind it. I like it. Yeah. You see, I'm eating it all up. Yeah. Well, look at the flower. Look at the flower, guys. Yeah, that's cool. Yep. I'm going to eat that, too. No, let me get it in focus. Oh. Oops. Hang on. There we go. Yep, nice little flower. I ate the flower. Yeah, well. Cool. All right, you don't have to give me yours. I'm not going to eat yours, too. All right. Oh my God. Yeah, and Mary and I tried it. Believe me. I like it. Yeah, take it to go for Hudson, right? Apple flower, someone's saying that looked like. Mm -hmm. Chestnut field. Oh! Eat nice. the fennel. Okay. Yeah, I tried to drink, guys. It's fermented wheat. Yeah, less, you know. Let me taste how it goes. Yeah, with give it, it to Mikey. Mikey. Yeah. Oh. This is very fermented. Yeah. 
Yeah, hey, Explore. Welcome aboard tonight. We're at a special event at Veselka in the East Village. Yeah, Mark's saying get a doggy bag for Hudson. I liked it. Yeah, everyone's going up front. It's like a presentation. I don't know. What's that going on? Hmm. I don't know. Pictures, I guess, huh? Yes, uh, hey, pictures. Explore. Thanks for joining us. Guys, we just finished the millet gooseneck apples and parsley. I, I finished it. Yeah. I finished I gotta it. Gotta tell you, that was a little rough. Carla didn't mind it. I ate it. I'll even eat the apple. Yep. Yeah, that was a little tough, guys. Not gonna lie. Beet juice? Not gonna lie. This is beet juice. Yeah, the hits keep coming, guys. Okay, I'm gonna have this. Yep. Take your fork away. You have to keep your fork. Yeah, Jim's uh Jim needs a standing right. eight count right now. You ready? Yep. He needs a standing eight count. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is strong. Yeah, huh? Not strong. All right, Blucey Vlogs, I'm counting on you. James should like the Vera Saka. Listen. Vera Chaka. This is, um. Dormade Vu. If I have all this different alcoholic drinks, I'm, I'm going to be flattened yep. down on the ground. So I have to, I'm like a lightweight when it yep. comes to alcoholic beverages. Yeah. So I can have a little sip and that's it. Because I, I got to keep my head straight. Yeah. Yeah, so. Bonnie. Oh, Carla, what planet are you from? I wouldn't eat any of that food, Mark's saying. <laughs> And then someone asked, uh, it's been delicious though. All except for two things. And that was just my, my preference. But that's your preference, right? Exactly. The food has been the great. Right. And it looks I like really it. I uh, really liked it. I thought it was yeah. great. But you have to like gave me, gave me um, like fowl. Yeah. Like, because it was like um, more gamey than a turkey. Yeah, that's all. Jim doesn't even like turkey. Just put it this way, at Thanksgiving, we have oh, yeah. chicken. Yeah. He does not like turkey. No, I, I have to put a lot of salt on it. He's, a, he's kind of a picky <laughs> eater. It, and I think it all stems from um, yeah. that, uh, yeah. you know, he just... I wouldn't say. Not picky eater, he's simple eater. He likes simple yeah. things like a hamburger, yeah, yeah. hot dogs, Yeah, chicken pizza, is nice. Chicken. Yeah, barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken, simple things, simple, yeah. simple food, simple presentation. No, but everything tonight, like I love the uh, the borscht. The borscht was delicious. Extra good. The edible painting was fun. The uh, what was that thing like a white carrot? The carry? bread. The white the carrot parsnip. was great. The parsnip. The parsnip was great. Um, really, it's been delicious. Yeah. You know, just certain things. I just I draw the line. Yeah. You can only lead me so far to the edge. Exactly. You know, you can't expect me to go. Right, I did know. make him eat um, fried alligator in yeah, Florida. Ron Hamilton on the way home, we should get two hot dogs. One for me, one for Hudson. No, I think I think we might be doing that. Yeah, bears eat bees, we're in the same. Very nice. Very nice. All set. Oh, 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 that perfect. would be great, Chef Dima. Thank you. Uh, sure, over here. Uh, I'm making sure I don't have a bee in my a bee in my tooth. <laughs> can I put my? Yeah, yeah, we can go like this. Yeah. Oh wait, I'll get on the other side. We go. No, you get in the middle. You yeah, get in the middle. You're, you're the, you're the middle. No, why don't you get in? Okay. I mean, whatever. Thank you. Uh, extra good. Thank extra you. Extra good. Thank you, Chef Dima. Extra good. Put my uh, got a little picture taken. I was. What I said is, I'm worried that I have a, a bee in my tooth. Yeah, bee in my a tooth. Big black. Oh no, that's done for me. You know, big thing of borscht on the front of my shirt. Yeah, big dollop of borscht just running down my shirt. It's in my hair. <laughs> 
a big sour cream and pour dollop in my hair. I think Chef Dean, the life that I ate. <laughs> I ate yeah, the, yeah. I ate all the goose neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a challenge. You get the dinner for free, taking it for us. So nice job. Nice job. <laughs> Yeah, Hudson, me and Hudson eat about the same. Yes. Yeah. Hudson yeah. is picky too. He sniffs everything. Right. If you watch the video where we got him, brought him home the hot dog from Nathan's. I mean, and this is a hot dog, which he loves hot dogs. He loves He sniffed it first though. He yeah. sniffed it first. He likes to check and make sure it's right. just right. Just perfect. That's what I said, for his discerning taste. Yeah. 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 He's so silly. Yeah, yeah, this is fun, Mark. Yeah, we're having fun. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, uh, I'm, I'm I've, I've never tasted so many things that that wrong. Like I've never had this before. No. I've never had the parsnip before. I've certainly never eaten a honeybee before, ever, ever, ever. Someone saying Hudson would just eat the whole goose. If, That's if he's in the mood, sure. I mean, I hate to say it, guys, but. He has caught a pigeon here in New York City. Yeah. Uh, I made him drop it. Yeah. <laughs> I made him drop the pigeon. Yeah, milk bone treats for Hudge. Thank you. So here we are. Here we I'm are. just going to tuck that right here. That's perfect. Yeah. So yeah. now we got the <laughs> very How's shotgun. The nose? Vera Shaka, which is a stew. I already looked it up, so James won't be um, nervous of what it is. Okay, I could do stew. With buckwheat bread to soak it up. Yep. You'll like that. And then um, chamomile. Yeah. Like a tea. Yeah, like a tea. Yeah. Guys, but guys, if anybody knows, tell me what this is. I don't know what this is. I don't know, Robert. Robert's asking him, am I ready to answer the bell for the next round? <laughs> oh, Jimmy, you do have black. You have a bee. Your front. Yeah. <laughs> I'm missing a tooth. <laughs> How about now? Uh, it's, I must be, uh, I would go with the napkin. Yeah, there you go. Jim, you got it. See, the green? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to be. I'm a. Uh, they're sponging me down on a stool right now. They got the metal ice thing underneath my eyes. They're saying, "Come on, champ, get back in there." This is what you train for. You live for this. They're giving me. They're rubbing my legs. They're saying, "Come on, champ, get back in there." <laughs> Go for it. This is an eating adventure. Yeah. Carlos loving it. I, I love it. I love trying new things. I'm like, I, I always say, I'll eat anything at least once. Yeah. I'll try it. Right. Like, you know, has anyone watched that, you know, the show Fear Factor, where you're like, you have to do these things. And some of them involve these e eating challenges, right? right? right. Or you Amazing Race, they had them. Right, on Amazing Race, where you'd have to eat, like, you know, something like looking disgusting. Like, I don't know, it's a delicacy, like, I guess it's in Asia, where you have to eat, like, Those an, eggs. an egg. Like it's, it's like a half-embryo chicken. Right, it's like there's a little baby in there. I wouldn't like that. No. I, I just, I don't know. No, I, don't I wouldn't know if, like that. I don't know if I can do that, guys, because I'm just too much of an animal lover. And I don't mind having the egg, but... Just seeing the little baby was big. Sad Avocado's calling you the female Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, like... Yeah, Bonnie Bourdain, I got my chin up, my chest out. I'm stepping right to the next challenge. But I think Anthony Bourdain, he also, like, Only really... a little bit of a lip quivering. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> if you look closely, you see the upper lip quiver. <laughs> but I'm going, I'm going for him. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's famous in the Philippines. That's it. I think That's it's it. called a balu egg or something. Yeah. A balu. Or... Yeah, that was, yeah. I don't know if I could do it. I mean, if it was a million dollars on the table, I don't know. Maybe then no, I would change. Different. That's different. That's totally different. <laughs> then I would have a little bit more of an incentive. Yeah, Tanny, thanks for pumping me up. <laughs> I got the walk-on music. <laughs> the whole place is like uh, behind me. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got it. I got it, Annie. I, I got it. <laughs> yep. To be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> Ron. That was a good one, Ron. That is. That is a good one. Yeah, that was nice. The borscht was nice. Oh, that's oh, my wow. favorite. Jack Rab, eight balloon, cheap piece. Where do you have it? Jeep knees, right by our... They have that there. Yeah, right around the corner. Wow, that's like, we live right Oh, Jack right Rabb, you are a brave man, my... Wow. Oh, my man. I didn't know that they had so that at brave. Jeep knee. I know yeah. that Jeep knee is known for their hamburgers. Right. That's something you would eat there. Right. Wow. Oh, Jack Rabb, I got to hand it to you. Yeah. Always, I see that on TV, and it just looks like a nightmare. Right, I know it's a delicacy. Like, I know that people, you know, that's a big deal. Just like... I went to um, a traditional Chinese wedding and they had the shark fin like soup or something yeah, like, you that. like that. That's fine. Right. I could do that. Yeah. You but know. it would be super expensive. It was like ex ex expensive. Any piece of B is the buzzword tonight. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, Gary, Baloo is like a embryo egg. Yeah. Like an I egg just, that started to develop into a chicken. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm just such an animal lover that that, that just bothers me, oh, you know. Paul ate a worm amulet in the Belize jungle as part of his training. Wow. Wow. Is that training for what? What was that for? I'm like not sure. He said when he was training, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, here comes another course. Oh, here we go. There we are. Oh, oh this oh. looks good. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, my God, guys. Look at this. Now you're speaking my language. Here, honey. Uh, I want to show you that. filet mignon, basically. Hunter style stew with kielbasa roast pork. Yeah, but this is a filet mignon. I guess they changed up the menu a little bit. And then I'm going to show you James's as well. Oh. And then it's on a puree of carrots. You know, this is a, now you're speaking my language. All right, so this is different. This is not what's on the menu because the menu was a stew. So they change it from the menu again. So hold on, James. Move it, you know, get it. There we go. Yeah, this looks good, guys. See, I want it Yeah, big dog pound. Now we're talking, right? Now we're getting somewhere. Always gets darkest before the dawn. <laughs> it always... Oh, it what smells is it? really great. It's he said it's a filet mignon, yeah. Yeah, EW, I'm feeling a big relief coming off my... I'm still a little, still a little, uh, you know, cautious, cautiously optimistic, but this looks delicious. Yeah, this looks fantastic. I need to drink the beet juice. Where's the other phone? The other phone? Yes, I have it. I have it. Right? Yeah. Because then let's just get a light. Yeah. One more thing, and then I can get a nice picture. Right. Go ahead, I'll hold that. No, no, just get the, show, yeah. them, show the filet mignon. Yeah. 
Is that sweet potato on the bottom? It's um. He said it's puree of carrot. So James, James, you're gonna hold that for I'm me. I'm gonna hold this for you. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, just to get that nice. Look at this. Oh. Good. One more, like a, a right on top of it, James. Yeah, Tanny, this looks yeah. looking good. James. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say. There you go. Thanks. Oh, we're having a. Someone just joined. I wonder what we're doing. Oh, <laughs> what we're eating. They what don't we're know doing. what we're doing. We're at Pasolka, guys, in the East Village. We're Thank having you. an amazing meal of seven courses. You know, now you think seven courses? Wow, that's huge. But it's just been so light and delicious. We've only had a couple. Carlos loved all of it, or at least tolerated it. <laughs> Jim has, for the most part, had a good night. I'll hold it. That's great, James. Ready? I want to get the Selka in and everything. Yep. All right, I'm done. Good. <laughs> Here, All right, guys. That off. I'm done. There we go. I'll put that away. Now we can eat. Yep. All right, I'm gonna let yeah, James. Yeah, we have a size of I'm gonna huh? let James dig in first. All right. And I'll just show you mine while he's eating. So I'm gonna just show you how gorgeous that looks. Oh. Look at that. Oh, one man wish. Thank you for the two dollars. Cool. He's, he gave us a super chat um, sticker, and he's like, he's bobbing up and down, and oh. he's all happy. <laughs> Annie P saying she wish she had smell of it. Look at that guy. I'm gonna oh, get nice. right in. Go ahead, I'll hold up for you. Oh, perfectly cooked. Wait a minute. I'm yeah. gonna show James this. Is he, Jim's already going in. He already, he already. Look at that guy. Look at that. Look how tender and juicy the meat is. Oh. Perfectly cooked. Like I would just say that would be, nice. um, you know, medium, like it should be. Yeah, look Extra at that. good. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah, See, right? Everybody agrees. What do Definitely. you think, Roman? You're in good extra, shape? Extra good. <laughs> good. All right, James, now I'm going to go for it. All right. All right. You know what? It looked really good from here, so I'm going to take one more photo. Yeah. I don't know why, but it's just the lighting, even yeah, though it's, it looks really good. Yeah, Finger. nice. I'm going to yeah, go to five. This is one man's wish. This is doing good. Okay. All right. Time to eat. There All right, go. here we go. Oh, it looks so pretty. I don't even want to cut into it. You know, it feels like it. I remember he mentioned something about fish. Yeah, we're eating it while it's hot. You got oh, it. Oh, wow. Look, can you see that, guys? Yeah, yours is nice, yeah. Yours is less, uh, yours is more... Um, a little mine's bit a, rare. Mine's a little bit more rare, which I like, so yep. that works out great. Yep. I'm just going to make a more of a bite-sized portion for myself. Oh, Cheeky Lulu last. Thanks for the $20. That's fantastic job. Oh, wow. Look at that with the puree. Yep. yep. All right, going oh, in, guys. Oh, one man's wish, $2. Thank you for the, the $2. Cheeky Lulu last, $20. Mm. One man's wish, $2. Fantastic job, guys. Oh, thank you, Cheeky Lulu Lass. That's fantastic. Yep. Patrick oh my God. Richardson, this is good. Now. So tender, so delicious. I have to let James eat some of his before it gets cold. Yeah, I'm getting frantic over here, guys. James is getting frantic. I'm going to show you how how good this looks. Like now that I that I yeah. um kind of like went in on it. Oh yeah. And then thank you and again. And there's like a fish sauce on it or something. Thank you again to Cheeky Lulu Lass. For the channel, um, for the for the super chat and super sticker. Let me see who else I missed. Um, the one man's wish. Thank you so much. Cool. He wrote. Medium well done. Um, Chester Chest Chestnut Field Mass says. Paul McDonough says. Um, I would have oh, PK NYC says I would have demolished that already. Yeah. Any piece says it's perfect. Extra good. Yeah. 
<laughs> you got a yeah. fish on top of it. And uh, thank you again, one This is some fish. fish. Oh, there's a fish sauce on top of it, guys. Something like that. That's I don't what know. James is saying. That's what this is right here. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take another photo of it, like just like this too, because I think people will like. Um, don't you think people will like to see it cut into as well? <laughs> so. I mean, anyway, I, I gotta catch up with the chats here. Oh, Jack Rabbit says five dollars. Thank you so much. And Bon Bon, five dollars. Thank you for making this happen. Oh my God, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Fantastic job, guys. Oh, I Jack Rabbit says folks. thank you for sharing your night with us. Save a piece for Hudson. Oh, Bonnie, I don't know. All of a sudden, I'm, Jim's getting the second one. I don't know if J James is going to be able to save a piece for Hudson. I might save a piece for Hudson on mine. I'll have to wrap it in a napkin. I'll be so nervous. Yeah, he's to getting ask, the second win. Ask for it to, to bring home, but I will because you know Fantastic it's Hudson. Fantastic stuff. And oh. Hudson deserves for Le Mignon. Oh, he does. You know him. Oh, oh you know, Jack. somebody said that looks amazing. Peter Luga, who? Exactly. I would yeah, I totally Jack, yeah. agree with you. That shot by Scott, you're totally, you're totally right. I'm like Rocky coming back after Apollo Creed. Yeah. He's in the, you know, he got, his, got beat up a little bit, but now he's back. He's getting his second win. No. Oh, it's herring. That's what they think. They think it's herring on top. Yeah, exactly. You are so right. I would guess that's 100% correct. Yes, yes, yes. That's what Myrna said. Yeah, Herring Myrna, good sure. job, Myrna. Yeah, Myrna knows. Oh, I should have done a straighter cut for the picture. Yeah, no, I, I will. Okay. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get another photo before. <laughs> but yeah. James will have no. Finish that bite, and then I'm gonna get another photo. Yeah. All right, guys, I cut a couple bites. All right, so hold on. See, this is what I'm going to do. This is how mine... Paul I got Savoy in London, this will cost 150 pounds. I don't doubt it, Paul. So I think, I think I'm think i trying to make an artful photo here. You know... Oh, Jesus, this is good. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. James is loving it. Yeah, I'm loving it. Mine's gone, basically. See? No, I think it's sweet potato, right, hon? Um, I... What did I? What did he say? Carrot? Yeah, there's a little onion in here, a little herring, a little carrot, a little wheat, uh, buckwheat again. Jeez, doing good though. Hey James, you have that? What do you think? You think? That looks nice. Yeah, it's hard, you know, because of the lighting. But yeah, then I didn't know if I liked. But that's some, then that joke brings it to 3-2, which sometimes no, no, go ahead, go ahead. blurs See? it. No, I think I think 5-6 is better. All right. And where was that other phone? Oh, lay the little piece out of the way. All right. There we go. Okay, hold on. That's the main one, right, Patrick? Pickled herring is good. Yeah, that's what's on top here. Jimmy, where's um, the light? Yeah, get that for me, and then right. here, take the take the piece. Here, I don't know how to get that out on your on this one. I'll get it. Hang on. There we go. Wait, wait, wait! Did that? Yeah, get it nice and bright. There, there we, go. we go. Look at that, guys! It's cooking in its own juices right it now. It is. Because it's getting it's getting. There we go. Less pink. All right, hold on. Yeah, chestnut peel mass. That might be nice too. But this is nice. Yeah, Myrna, wine pickled herring. I gotta tell you, it's a little different taste on here, but okay. Now we're now we're ready. Yep. Yep. That's the photo. Great. See me They love it. We approve. <laughs> All right. Go. No, no, that's for you. That's you. No, no, no. No. You no, take it. no. no. Here's your knife. The big knife there. Oh. Here. Here.
I'm asking, we, we cannot uh, like, compare each other, right? But uh, we, can, we have a lot of companies which are only six or seven years are producing uh, food wine, and they have a lot of technologies in their, uh, in their, uh, in their uh, way of how they produce wine. And I think uh, this company which is trying today is called Chabot, a specific uh, company, uh, and uh, they have a lot of their own um, Grapes and even uh, some uh, special, uh, special taste. Okay. Yes. Uh, this is what you do. About this wine, much more. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's go uh, next for our dessert. It's uh, going to be apple. Uh, when I created this menu, uh, this dessert, I didn't expect to, to give an apple in uh, New York. Uh, because Thank it's, uh, you. Uh, uh, anyway, so uh, one of the Ukrainian uh, desserts is like. Uh, what do we, we, we are doing? We took uh, some apples, we baked in the oven. After that, we took uh, this apple puree, uh, put some, uh, some flour, and then again, it becomes like uh, uh, apple cookies. But I put some uh, gold cookies again, some white chocolate, uh, I put a lot of apple, apple cider, mm. uh, and uh, some more, uh, some much flour. It's a bit sour. Uh, and uh, you will uh, try this uh, apple, uh, apple taste with some So guys, I got to catch up. Guys, I'm just going to show you one thing. Jo show them what James has done. Okay. James, I'm going to give you the edge of mine, which would yeah, be... Yeah, pretty funny. Though, though, though. Yes. You're full? Okay. <laughs> James says he's full. Yeah, no. The, what does it taste like with the herring? It's like like uh, fishy, obviously. It's like, like uh, not surf and turf at all. It's just like a little... Little hint of brine almost with it, right, Hud? Mm hmm. Yeah. I like it better without the fish. Yeah, Carla likes it better without the fish. I eat the whole thing, you know. Oh, nice, Chesterfield Mass is drinking and beer this? and eating boiled pork Chinese style now. Thanks, Big Talk Pound. Where is this on you? Yeah. I had this root. Yeah. I ate this red root. How I don't know that? what it was. I'm not really sure. Oh, Mary, and I know. Sorry about that. Marion's going to bed. Have a good oh, rest. It's very late. Thanks. Yeah, very Thank late, Marion. Thanks for hanging Thank out with you. us. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, in Holland, CB Earth Day eats herring raw and it tastes lovely. Yeah, someone pretty funny is saying that's rhubarb, maybe. Oh, I just ate it. It was. I liked it. Nice. Night night, Marion. Feel okay. Yep. I'm going to have the rhubarb. I liked it. Is it a beet, the red thing? No, I think that's a uh, rhubarb, maybe. It's like a stem. Like a stem. Maybe. Like a parsley, but red. Yeah. Like a consistency, like, um, no, you know, like celery. Yeah, yeah. Like celery when you bite into like it. Like celery. Oh, this is nice. <clears throat> Jimmy, do you think I can bring this for Hudson? Yes. I'm going to ask him to wrap it for you. Right up. Yep. Very nice. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at the apple. Oh, and it's even shaped like an apple. Oh, my God. That's so amazing. This is the next one, guys. Can I trouble you? Like yeah, the poor little. Thank you. He's going to. Guys. You know who's going to get that. You know who's going to get that. Half to Jim, half to Hudson. No, no, all to Hudson. It's all for Hudson. All for Hudson. I asked for a little take-home container for Hudson. Now, what did he say was this? Did you this catch? This is apple puree. Oh, wow. And then he made it in the shape of an apple, and then there's something else on the side of it. But we're going to, I'm going to take a picture of it, but first we're going to give... Oh, there's spoons for it. Right, there's the spoons for it. But first we're going to take a picture Let's of it. Let's put this over there. Get the rid of these things. That's fine, because we can Photoshop that out. Yep. Oh, look, it's like a heart. Yeah, that's adorable. Oh. Wait, yours looks prettier. This one. Yeah. 
Let's do this one. Good. Show it nice. I am. And then just see the applesauce puree. Yeah, do you need the light? What? Where'd that go? I don't know where it went. To be honest with you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, no, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about it. Now. Uh, oh, I have it. All right. I so got this it. is good. Look at this. All right, so hold on, guys. Stand to the end. She's riding it out. <laughs> it's a beautiful piece of art. Let me spin it so you can see. There. Okay, so oh, yeah. you hold yeah, this I'm for hold me. This. Look at this, guys. Here we go. How's that, honey? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, might good, good, might be right? extra good if I turn the turn, turn it on. Always turn the camera on, see? Yeah. Yeah, it has syrup to apple inside. Nice. Chesterfield nut mass. That feels like something I could get into. That's perfect, James. You notice I made handy work of the flavor. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're, we're, we're ready. We're set. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. All right, let me turn this off. Okay. And first things first, guys. First things first, before you have your dessert. Yeah, we're going to pack that up for Hudson. Okay. Lens cap off too, Annie P. Good call. See, Annie P's helping us out, honey. Turn the camera on, Carla said, and get the lens cap off. This is for Hudson. Oh, he liked the fish puree too, so why don't we give that to yep. him too, right? Yep. Okay, the whole, the whole nine yards. Okay. Very nice. All right, you guys. Yeah. For Hudson. The king. For the king. Oh, thanks, Jack Rab. Yeah, Jack, this looks like it's the uh, last uh, last course. So thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Yeah, the food is presented. The, the place is fantastic. It's amazing. Spot it's spotless in here. The service has been amazing. Wouldn't you say the service is impeccable? Extra good. I mean, everything. They, big ups to the Selka, honestly, guys. And I mean, and for doing this to to raise awareness of yeah, but, uh, um, Ukrainian you know, food. You and Ukrainian culture. The Selka gets a standing ovation from me. Extra, Honest extra to God. good. I was scared coming in here. I got to admit it. All right, so here a we go. Frightened, even. You could right. say I was frightened, right? Huh? A little frightened. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Look how cute, like they make it look like an apple, but it yeah. is an apple puree. Yeah. Oh. oh my God, look, yeah. can you see that inside, guys? Oh, look at that, guys. I got it. Very nice. Mm. Yes. Oh my God. Extra, 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 extra good. Nice, hey, Grace R. Wow. Yeah, Gary, this has been great, Gary. I'm trying to get over the lip. There we go. I wonder if I, you think I should try to take a photo of what it looks like once you bite in? No, because that ruins the prettiness of it, right? Yeah, I'm going to try it. Oh my God, it's like a, this little surprise inside. Yeah, gonna... ADP, it turned out good. I'm, I'm happy. I'm going out of here with my chin up. Okay, here, I'm going to even try to get one. I, I'm going out of here, chin up, chest out. <laughs> I'm saying, hey, you know, this was good. Oh, I'm no, I'm going for it. it. No, 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 I got it. Right. Yeah, this is amazing, Sarah. Here, wait. Let me take the napkin out of the way. All right. Little stem. I got it. Nice. It's just so it's just so cute that I had to get like what it looks like once you bite into it. All right, perfect. Now we can enjoy it. Camera away. Yeah. Yeah, it is extra for sure. And then did you get did you get the little apple sauce oh, it's in just there? A petal. Yeah, it it's is like a petal, a flower petal. Edible. That I kind of set off to the side. Carla's eating the petal. I eat it. It's like a rose petal. Extra good. Yeah, Robert, I'm with you. This mm. is nice, right, hon? Very light. Yeah, very light. Not heavy at all. See that? I would, I, I, I would all get this if it was on the menu again. As yeah, a nice dessert. Nice. Yeah, Wayne, it's an edible flower. Mm-hmm. 
I won't bother eating the stem, though. James, I took the stem out. Took the, yeah, me too. <laughs> Extra, extra good. Yeah, guys, it's been fun. So amazing. Danny P saying I should eat the petal. How was it? I liked it. Right. Hey, yeah. It's yeah. Like a rose petal, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't forget your applesauce. I'm getting it. <laughs> what, are you done already over there? I saved that last bit for you. Yeah, Andy P, that was for you. I'm saving that last bit for you. Oh, thanks, son. <laughs> Just because I knew you had a hard time with the um, millet and gooseneck. So Jim gets it. James gets an extra little bit of dessert. I'll, I'll have one more bite, and then he can have the rest. Wow, Patrick, that's half the fun. But huge, huge appreciation to Veselka. This was so amazing, I mean, guys, we always knew because, it was good. Right, but we always get the same thing when we come here. Yeah. We always get either a blintz, like a cheese blintz, for brunch. And then we get pierogies. Good night, Bonnie Bodine. Oh, good night, Bonnie. Or we get um, uh, the Varenki. You know, the uh, yep. pierogi. Oh, Ryder, Jordan, Dory. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Hang on, gosh, hang on. So you was the first to add my food here in the U.S. So I think maybe in a few years, it's going to be, you know, like everyone will eat my food, but now you're the first. So I want to say thank you very much that you all took this challenge. Uh, and uh, I hope that you like the food. I hope that you like the, the new combinations. Maybe some is very much nice. But I told you in the beginning that it's going to be like that. Maybe uh, some of them even taste that maybe it's going to be like uh, um, for me more nice to hear you. But anyway, uh, it's very important uh, uh, for your brain uh, and uh, for me that uh, you came here and uh, tried this food because I want to promote uh, to promote uh, uh, our nation uh, in the world that has existed. This one here in New York is the best place. So thank you very much that you come. So, <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Ho! 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 helped out Carlos last little bit. <laughs> Guys, that was fantastic. Oh, that was so amazing. Awesome stuff. Dessert is gone. Good, good job. I am going to crawl underneath the table yeah. <laughs> to get yeah. the camera bag. Yeah. yeah. So I can put that away. Yeah. I will, we will. Yeah. yeah. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out today with us tonight. Thank you for coming along to Selka oh East Village. 
on Second Avenue and at the corner of East 9th Street. At the corner of East 9th Street. And they have not only Everything indoor. Good? Oh, awesome! So amazing, so amazing. Yeah. You did uh, outstanding. Awesome. I loved everything. He's not as an adventurous eater oh, as yeah. I am. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you know, beast. You know, a little bit out of his thing, but I, I loved it. It's so oh, good, so amazing. You did. I mean, awesome I thank you. Job. Next level. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, thank, thank you. you. And thank happy you. Easter to you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Fez Jack. D Jack. Thanks, Ichiko Gardner. Thanks for coming along tonight. Oh Thanks. yes, thank you guys. Thank you so much. I'm just was compliments to the chef. Packing, packing up for everything for us. So we can't thank you. Thank you guys for all the channel donations. Thanks, Sarah. The Thanks, Big Chat stickers, the, the the super chats, the super stickers, everything. Everything. Hope you had so much Fantastic fun. job in the chat you a tonight. A little bit of Ukrainian culture, traditional Ukrainian food tonight. Yeah. Extra, extra good. Yep. And yeah, and we hope you when you come Thanks, to the Shop East Village, Scott. if you can make it to the East Village in get the future, into Ukraine. check get out Vasilka yeah, because they have outdoor dining too, so it's extra safe. Yep. Thanks. Okay. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everything. Thanks for the chat gifts.